Yeah, big talking brewskis. Marissa Smith is who you see. What a cooler combo in here. Crack a cold while we're on the air. Big talking brewskis. Marissa Smith is who you see. What a cooler combo in here. Crack a cold while we're on the air. Kicking back, having a few beers, we're chatting. Pull up your chair, we're all relaxing. Any subject, we never dismiss. Big talking brewskis with Marissa Smith. Comedy, sex, relationships, war. Any subject, we got it in store. Big talking brewskis is coming in live. Crack when open, Marissa has arrived. Hey guys, happy Friday. This is Big Talking Brewskies. I'm Marissa Smith. I've got Rodna Daniels with me. What's up guys? Happy Friday. It's Big Talking Brewskies time. I've got Zach Petrovich with me. What's going on guys? And I've got Sabrina Piper with me. Hello, hello. So uh, (laughs) thanks for coming on you guys. Um, So now Rodney, kick us off. How was your week? Uh, my week was good. I was uh, in a podcast that I filmed last week that like dropped this week called uh, Pets and Punchlines with uh, uh, Richie Redding. Redding, Richie Redding, yeah. and um, and his girlfriend who's a, a veterinarian. And we just like talked pets. We talked about like we delved into like all the pets that I had throughout my life. So it was pretty interesting. Nice. Yeah, Pets-y. and then and then I moved. So like now I'm like, in, you did? Yeah. What it's a pain in the ass, isn't it's it? <laughs> 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 and so it like took up my entire week because like you don't realize how much shit you have and that you accumulate over a year. You're just like, wow, I got a lot of shit that I'm gonna throw or like away. Random papers. Random papers. Like, <laughs> What's like, this telephone number? Like uh, my set list from like seven months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Mixtapes. I, I know if you hosted shows, so I got like all the comedians' names and their minutes. <laughs> 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 So yeah, so that was pretty crazy. I'm up in uh, uptown now, one seventy third in uh, Amsterdam. I'm um, so. downtown. Okay. Oh man. You were in Queens before, right? I was in Queens. Off the seven. Off the seven, <laughs> Jackson Heights, <laughs> <laughs> AKA Little Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> Loves it. <laughs> So Zach, how was your week? Uh, well, uh, it was uh, it was a pretty good week, you know. Saw some family, had some shows. It was good. Um, what did I do this week? We uh, worked on. I'm um, working on some new stuff. Um, we're working on a couple of uh, pilots, that kind of thing. New animation series I'm working on that we're uh, I'm co-creating with uh, Michael Terry and uh, Daniel Bowers. So uh, we just kind of got the ball rolling on that. So that's some new awesome. projects coming up. And uh, yeah, other than that, just you know, same shit, different day. You know, trying to survive. I hear you. <laughs> How about you, Sabrina? How was your week? Oh, hectic. Uh, I moved too. That was on Tuesday. That was crazy. Uh, but the movers are really fast. Turns out, like if you tip them really well, they'll just do everything. So, yeah. It's like a, a little Pro Jewish tip. grandmother mentality over here. <laughs> <laughs> Did some shows too. Um, yeah, I'm working on a pilot also. We're so alike, Zachy. Yeah. Twinsies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tall and small. <laughs> if I if like you ate like half of what I ate, like maybe you would look like me. Like maybe. Like half. 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 Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just a half. That's it. Just a little half. No, I don't eat. <laughs> 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 She's just licking the celery. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, ew, taste. <laughs> 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 um, so now, uh, Sabrina, are you in a relationship right now? I am not. No, no, no. Okay. Um, do you find it like harder to date? Like, how long have you been in comedy? I've been doing comedy about a year and a half now. Okay, okay. so like, do you find it harder to date now that you're a comic? Or? Oh, totally. Um, I was dating somebody when I was first starting comedy, like a couple months in, and like, he was so possessive and he was so upset because I'd be out so late and he'd like show up to mics to make sure like other guys weren't talking to me. Like, it got really bad. Yuck. Yeah. And it's so difficult. Like, if you're not in the world, you don't understand it. But then again, you can't date comics. Yeah. Right. So that's another issue. So I'm just um just gonna keep fucking everyone. I think that's it. I'm <laughs> 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 like relationships, why? <laughs> right. Like as long as I can come once a week, I think I'm good. <laughs> I mean it's yeah. like four or five times a week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a day. Stop Every lying. day. <laughs> <laughs> I was moving this week, so it was slow. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no hot movers? No, no. Well, actually, <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, my, my, one of my bartender friends helped me move, so 
and he's he's pretty cute. So yeah. okay. okay, what's up, Louise? Hi, <laughs> 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 Poppy. His dick. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. No, I think that it is hard, like dating, like when you're a comic. Like I definitely. But I, I will date comics. I won't like bang comics because I just feel like if if I think that it might go somewhere, then like I'm willing to like risk it. But if it's just like, I could just meet strange. That's completely like not complicated. But like just to like bang like uh, random comics, I'm just like, uh, why? Like, well, then you see them places. Yeah, right. and like there have been times. Where like I've done a joke and it's about that comic and I didn't know like they're in the back going up after me and I'm like, cool. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. I've I've done that. <laughs> You're <Yeah>. welcome. <laughs> like I've I've dated comics that um, like we had like a bad breakup and like I didn't know that he was like booked on the same show as me, and so like I'm doing a bit about him and I as I'm like doing the bit I see him walking into the room Ooh. and I'm just like ah should I jump ship and I'm like ah fuck it I'm just gonna go you, can't, you gotta commit I, to the bit like you know and so like I, I finished the, the joke and then when I got off stage like he was like like on the path to the green room and he just started slow clapping me like I would have punched him in the dick. I would have punched him right in the dick. Oh, God. Uh, that's just brutal. <laughs> Grab the ball. So like, fuck you. I'm uncomfortable for you right now. Like, like, uh, <laughs> and you know what like, the problem is? Like, I'm back on that. Bumble as of this week. Oh, All okay. I see are comics. comics. Oh, my God. And their bios, oh. amazing. Amazing. Because I know how they are in person. But, like, they the actually they seem like a normal online. person. Yeah. Right. And then you meet them and you're like, or you're like, I already know you. It's no, but outrageous. I just feel bad for like the poor girl that thinks like like they're reading the bio of a real person. It's like, no, this is like mm-hmm. one of their personalities. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't let everyone know we're crazy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's weir- a secret. You get it. It's weird though with that. I mean, like uh, the whole not, you know, dating comics and shit like that. Because like in other like, uh, you know, places in the entertainment industry, especially, I mean, I'm talking about theater. That's where I came from. I mean, I ugh, that is, that's a pants off, dance off, 100. percent Well, of you're a straight guy like, in theater. Exactly. That's the other no, that thing. was that's like, the yeah, other yeah, right. like when I got to the city, I was like, oh shit, I have to like try. This sucks. Like, <laughs> I, I have to bring something to the table other than my sexual orientation. Like, this is like, <laughs> oh man, I wish right. I knew how that felt. Oh, dude. <laughs> it's like, I'm straight. Here's my dick. There you go. Yeah, it was yeah. <laughs> like basically. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, theater school was weird, but I mean, like you know. But the whole, like, I mean, you don't have time to meet anyone else. I mean, who, right. do you guys talk to regular people? I don't. I don't have time. Not really. No normies. Just, no. Yeah. Like, there's a couple of bars I'll go to, and, like, I'll be a regular there, so, like, they don't know I'm a comic, like, and I hide, and I'm just like, oh, dum 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 And, like, you know, I just, That's always uh, a question, too, is when do you tell people that you're a comic? Uh... It, I mean, I don't know. I'm usually bombed, so I usually tell people instantly. Yeah. <laughs> like, <I'm> like, <laughs> I mean, I put it on my, my dating profiles just because I feel like, how am I going to explain how many hours I'm going to be gone? Right. Like, You know what I mean? Because like, otherwise, I'm just like, I, at first, I was like, maybe I shouldn't put it on because guys are not into female comics. They're just not. And then, like, I, I thought, like, oh, well, I shouldn't put it on. But then I'm like, well, how am I going to explain I'm out, like, four nights a week? Like, you know, yeah. there's, there's going to be questions. Either that or I'm, I'm married. Like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you come home, like, stinking of, like, beer, pot, like, chicken wings from the audience. And, like, we're growing <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> And they're like, where were you? And you're like, brunch. And they're like, it's 2 a.m. Like, right. like oh. you don't know. I was at the. <laughs> That's just good. I was at the Titty Club, um, <laughs> and they're like, "Me Watch too." Yeah. Which one? Right. Uh, yeah, but like to Zach's point, though, like I feel like actors date each other each all other the time. Constantly, yeah. it's oh, so incestuous. It's like, like date each other all the time. I, I feel like it's just really comics that don't think. Although I feel like a lot of improv people date each other. I think stand ups don't like dating each other. Ugh. I think it's really because say, uh, I improv? mean, yeah. oh, did you say no to improv. Uh, yes, <laughs> <laughs> but she's one of those. That's she, they I am one of those. Together all the time, you know. Yeah, but I feel like a lot of improvers date each other. They're the, right? musical, they're the musical theater of comedy. I do have yeah. to say that. Yeah. I mean, they like improv, finish yeah. each other's sentences and each other off. Like that's yeah, no. it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, it's uh, yeah, no, I would see, I see that a lot too. It's it is it, it is weird that it's uh, only stand ups that really have like that uh, that like that's the norm. Like you're not supposed to you know fuck another comic. But I mean, 
Really, you're only around comics all the time. So, I mean, mm-hmm. if you, yeah. like, mm-hmm. yeah. unless but, you own a restaurant or something, I don't think, like, you and know. And then you're yeah. drinking, too. So, I mean, uh, like, I feel like it's like a whole natural, like, yeah. drinking. Right. Yeah. Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the other thing is, like, when you first come on as a comic, they always say they're like, don't fuck other comics, don't date other comics. And then you're like, okay. And then you realize, you're like, how bad could it be? And then you do it, and you're like, oh. Uh. Oh. Yeah, no, it's bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you learn. But it's, I, I think it's also, <laughs> like, possible, though, that you don't have to, like, run, like, this, the scene is so big, like, you don't have to run into people if you don't want to. Like, occasionally you will, but, like, you don't have to, like, necessarily, like, run into people. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if I don't want to run into a comic that I'm, like, banging, I usually bang one in, like, Queens, you know? Like, that's, like, I'm never out in Queens. Oh, my God, who are you banging? (laughs) not banging anybody. I don't bang any comics in Queens. Mm, That's not true. I'm going to find out by the second beer. Right. (laughs) It's Washington Heights, but. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, I already had my second beer. Right. Right. Number eight. I didn't stop from last night in the brawl. I was like, <laughs> gotta figure this out. Yeah, no, but it's definitely it's it's hard. Like, have you ever dated a comic? I've never dated another comic. No. No, is that just because like you haven't met a comic that you like, or yeah, kind of like there's like I mean I've, there's a couple of cute ones and like guys I'm like kind of flirty with, but like not anybody I've like I actually like had sex with. Okay, you've yeah. never had sex with a comic? No, ever. ever. No, like e- like even a handy. No, what I'm getting, giving hand jobs at the Broadway Comedy Club in the bathroom. <laughs> is, <laughs> is that what you guys do there? Is that what you guys do? I was going to say, right. Like, <laughs> don't you guys use that nacho cheese as lube? You just get it covered. <laughs> like it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that a warm sensation's coming? <laughs> no. <laughs> nacho sauce. <laughs> nacho <laughs> dick. <laughs> right, then I'm like, right, nacho dick. <laughs> 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 nacho dick. Gosh, yeah, no, I just haven't met anybody, I guess. Like, I don't know. I'm assuming Zach's been in comics, but I could be wrong. I just want to know <laughs> who. I don't. I, I was raised right. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> 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 I, like, no. I, I guess uh, I wasn't. <laughs> I mean, like, I bad have. Bad girls, bad yes. girls. Right? I have, and it was a total mistake because, like, I uh, didn't like them. I just, you know. Wanted to bang. <laughs> and, I mean, Rodney, you've been there. Uh, well, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, and it was like, needs. and it was one of those things that, like, I was like, okay, well, that was fun. Uh, see ya. And then it was like, it was just weird. Like, I'd see them around and I'd be like, ah, oh, you know, yeah. cool. Hey, we Especially cool? if it wasn't like, good and then they want to do it again. No, it was terrible. Yeah. It was god awful. It was terrible. Oh, <laughs> really? god. I, had to, I had to power through it so bad. Like, there was. <laughs> Wait, that's the worst. You start thinking about like other sexual encounters you had. I was thinking about cheesesteaks. That's how bad it got. Oh, okay, shit. like I was just like, <laughs> come to this cheesecake. Just fucking a uh, cheesesteak. Cheese <laughs> that's what fat guys think about. Like when they're trying not to come, though, they think about they like think they're gonna think about food, and then they're like, oh wait, no, that's really what I want. Right? And then she like yeah. turns around, she's like, I'm your cheesesteak slut. Yeah. <laughs> I recently had a uh, had a hookup. Uh, she was non comic, but I recently had a hookup tell me that my cum tasted like hamburger and pineapple. Dead. What? That sounds <laughs> sounds like cancer. I don't what know. Like that, does, that doesn't sound good. I don't know. I, I got to go see a doctor or something. That's. It sounds like you eat no vegetables. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I drink a lot of orange juice and eat cheesesteaks, so it yeah. kind of makes sense. But I mean, yeah, the veggies are. I on never the realized that it was like I yeah. thought. I always yeah. thought that was an urban legend because no one's ever said anything about it before that. No, yeah, your cum tastes like pineapple juice if you drink a lot of pineapple juice. Right. Right. So like. I guess, yeah, the, I guess it works and for so hamburgers your, so too. Your, I guess right? your juices, your your womanly. It makes you like sweeter. Oh, that's it makes what you they sweeter. say. Oh, the pineapple juice. Yeah, yeah if you drink a lot like of pineapple juice, pineapple. and then somebody goes down on you, he's gonna love it because it's gonna taste like pineapple. Okay. Or he's gonna be like, "What the fuck did it's you like, use?" Yeah, <laughs> it's like, well, you taste like pineapple." So, yeah, no, I don't really. I don't know. I I knew for guys it was like the celery thing, but I didn't know that it was a pineapple. I've never What's heard the, the celery, celery thing? thing. Like if you eat a lot of celery, it makes it taste better. I've oh, never I don't like that. the taste of celery to begin with. I mean, right. So how would that? I can't imagine I can't cum tasting chewing. celery because being, like yeah. celery. celery has a lot of fructose in it, and oh. so like then when it breaks down into your body, like it breaks down into like a lot of sugar, and oh. that your body ingests, and then like your fluids start tasting better. So I've oh. eaten a lot of celery, but I've never eaten like, done the pineapple stuff. So oh. Does okay. it give it a good crunch? What I mean, does it like, mean? Like, <laughs> when it <tastes laughs> sour. What's oh, that? Oh. When it tastes it's, sour. It's when they eat a lot of. Um, I believe it's iron. Oh, really? Oh, that oh. would make sense. I believe so. Iron? Hmm. I once tasted like. a guy's cum that was so sour, I literally threw up. 
Was he an oh. athlete? Yeah, I didn't throw up. I was just no, like, No, he Ugh. was just disgusting. Yeah. When it tastes <laughs> bad, it's like <laughs> Well. <laughs> At least mine doesn't taste sour. Like, yes. <laughs> Did you taste it today? No. No. Actually. You don't know. Sour and thick are like two like Ugh. Ugh. thick. Yeah. Like Ugh. some are like Ooh. like almost like mucusy th- like 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 a big loogie kind of thick. I kinda like that. I only know I my like cum, that. so I mean like that's the thing. No, have... no, this guy snowballed me a couple of weeks what ago. Is what that? is that? Snowball. Girl, it's, a snowball. it's like he like went down on me and I came in his mouth and then he kissed no. me. No. I was like, uh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like I don't want my own No, 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 no. Guys try to do that too. Yeah. Yeah. Right after they go down on you, they're like, oh, and I'm like, whoa. No. Yeah. <laughs> you think that's like the same thing though? I mean, like, cum is so much thicker and well, like just... girls come too. Yeah, but it's not like it is, but it isn't. It's like it's a totally different thing. I mean it is, yeah. We but... were talking about when, when eating ass earlier when we're having pre show wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, we're we were eating. strolling down the street yeah. talking about yeah. eating yeah. ass. You know? So we were standing in front of a preschool. And <laughs> <laughs> but is that crazy? If somebody like eats your ass and then kisses you? Oh my uh, god, that's fucking gross. Uh, it's disgusting, right? Uh, uh, that's uh, what uh, I no. said. I don't. No. Nobody's. He didn't even that. realize yeah. that would give you no. a thing. No, no, I, no, because like, oh, I've done shit. it. Now I'm thinking about it. Like, like oh, oops, oops. Have you ever got done to you though? Yeah, but there were so many drugs involved. I didn't care. It was like you know what I mean. Like it was. It was nuts. Uh-oh. The yeah, hooker in yeah. Ohio. That was weird. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I should call her. Like, <laughs> I, had a, I had a weird life. What? I, you know, I was like, it was just yeah, no. Because I was, we were talking about it, and and like, so I've never had my ass eaten, and like, my main thing is that like, one, I feel like people are supposed to reciprocate things, and I don't want to reciprocate that. And two, I can't. Like, I would never be able to kiss them again. Like, and what if they tried to kiss me directly after? Like, it's so nasty. It is gross. I've never had that either, but I've had one boyfriend ask me to do it, and I was like, no. He wanted no, you no, to no, eat no. his ass? Yeah. Oh, oh hell no. And then, and then we <laughs> went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is we went to sleep, and then the entire night that motherfucker was just farting. Is this someone I know? Just fart. No, it's not. Oh, okay. It's my oh. ex. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's another worry I have. Actually, like, maybe you did meet him. <laughs> oh, wait, last year? Yeah. Ew, yep. gross. <laughs> <laughs> Bad looking. No, but just, just the thought of him person. like being like, eat my ass, and he's just like, <laughs> like that's all it's fucking foul. That's like a worry that I have too, though, because like I feel like when when I'm uncomfortable, I fart, and like I feel like if he's eating my ass, I'm gonna be uncomfortable. And what if I fart in his ass, and then I'm forever the girl that like farted in some dude's mouth? Like I can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like shitting on a dick for anal. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> You look like you just went back to like Vietnam, right? Like, right? Your eyes were like, like no, 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 no then you get a Hershey fall. No, you didn't. I love all these new words you're teaching me. I thought I was vulgar. You're like, really? Like, like, I feel like I'm at like the older kids' lunch table right now. I'm like, what the fuck's happening? Hershey fall. Uh, Hershey fall, yeah. That's like when you're Freshman fucking. Freshman with the senior. Right? <laughs> that's where you're fucking, and all of a sudden there's just shit everywhere. Oh my god, okay, that is not uh, it is a story so I have, thank god. No, no it's no, not it's good. No. It's so bad. Anyone ever puke while you're having sex with them? You guys ever have that? Have you ever puked <laughs> while you were having sex? No. No? I've, Someone was like so drunk, like you're both drunk okay, and shit, or something so, happens. I'm not, not saying like in a sexual way, but no, I No, mean, I got like, another story. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like me and you are the only ones that have been like... This, this. With craziness. So like, I have this regular like that I give him head, like, you know, that's what we do. A regular? Yeah, it's, that's <laughs> called a regular, yeah. And so... Um, it's his regular dick. It's his regular dick. Not his irregular it's, dick. Right. It's R.D., <laughs> And so he wanted to try like a new position. So he like put me on the bed and I'm like on the bed laying on my back with like my head like off the bed. And then he's like fucking my face. <laughs> like, but like it hit like the wrong like part of like my wrong throat. Pipe. The wrong pipe. Right. And then all of a sudden I just threw up my morning coffee everywhere, all over the bed, all over me, all over him. Did that's he stop? hilarious. <laughs> See, yes, that's the whole thing. I went in the bathroom, I cleaned up, and then he wanted me to continue. <laughs> 
<laughs> now that's position. a lover. That's yeah. a real lover. Yeah. It's like a fucking dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a dog. <laughs> He's probably been there before. That's the thing. He was like, this isn't the first time. It's like, like yeah. uh, it's not the first time someone's thrown up on my dick. All right, hurry right. up. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's clean it up. Just clean uh, it up. Let's uh, go. It's another Tuesday, Rodney. Just Rod. go. Just just get this go. Going up on dick. I got to go talk to dicks. my kids. No. <laughs> <laughs> ha- have you th- had someone throw up on you? Or uh, have yeah, you thrown was, up on someone? No, I mean, it was, you know, it was weird. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, I didn't do it as it was happening, but, like, you know, I got seasick in the middle of banging. Like, it just happened. Like, I was fucking wasted. I was drinking, like, shitty liquor all night. It was in college. There was, like, t- this place that used to give us $2 well drinks. Yeah. And, mm. yeah, right? Just nice. death. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I'd go down there with, like, $20, or I'd pay in weed because that was legal. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I'd, like, be like, I'm not paying for shit. And then, like, yeah. but, yeah, no, we would, like, just, like, rack up, like, a $100 bar bill on $2 well drinks. And we'd all go back to my house and party or some shit like that. I lived right above the bar. And oh, one night I took I took some chick back. Well, she actually kind of took me back to my house. It was it was actually very forceful, I got to be honest. It was uh, mm-hmm. I was like I wasn't mad about it. It's not like I'm complaining, but it was definitely one of those weird moments where you're like I'm not in control of what's happening right was now. Was she ugly? Not... Oh my god. Dog, like just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucked up. It was Your bad. Your face just changed. You're like petrified. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, she was ugly. Yes, like, no, hundred and ten percent. Um, and no, I, I go back and and uh, you know we're we're doing it. I'm trying to like you know I'm trying to keep my because I can feel like. Something's not feeling right, and I'm like, "This is gonna be bad." I, I have a rumbly in my tumbling. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, and then God, I was like, trying to like, I was like in the middle, of like, I was like, mm-hmm. and like she was like, "Are you okay?" I was like, "Yeah, I actually, uh, I gotta, I gotta go." Um, she's like, "This is your house, though," and I was like, <laughs> uh, I- "I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette." She's like, "Just smoke one in here." I was like. No, and I like ran outside, puked, and then I walked to my buddy's house, and I didn't. I just left her in my house. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you yeah, have clothes on it? So least? nasty. I mean, yeah, Wait, I had like track she... pants and a beater. Yeah, I mean, it was <laughs> oh, Pits- Pittsburgh summertime. It didn't look that weird. Yeah. I mean, you know. But then, what if you would have came back and she was still in your house? I don't know. Oh, I don't what know do you mean you don't know? You never went home, right? <laughs> I waited. I waited two days. Oh shit! I had people in and out of my house all the time, so I didn't like really care. I sold a ton of weed in fucking high school or college. Well, I sold weed in high school too. But. Same. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it was like it was just one of those things. Like I just I always had people in and out of my house, so I figured someone would tell her to get the hell out. Wait, you sold like, weed too? Yes, everybody I did. would look at this table right now and think I'd be the one that sold weed. But like, no, no the racial profile. Little Jewish white right, right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've never sold weed in my life. I only buy. Well, oh, if you no, no, had, no. you'd be in jail already. Right, right. <laughs> 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 Zach, Zach knows that I used to sell. Yeah, he knows. He yeah, knows your the weed stories. was really bad. Um, <laughs> <It> was, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, how long have you guys known each other? Like a year, year yeah. and a half oh, okay. like, since uh. I got to New York. Um, but yeah, and it happened again. Yeah, the the throw up shit. I mean, it, it happened again. It was literally the same thing, but except I was at someone else's house and I tried to use the cigarette thing. But uh. this time, I almost puked in her mouth. Like I was uh. like. Oh. That close, and I was just like, we were drinking a Calico Jack. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. I cleared about half a bottle of Calico Jack. What is that? To be, uh, it is literally the most rock gut rum you can buy. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. I thought College. you were at the police Calico Jacks. Oh no 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 <laughs> no no. Because no. they have like the like these crazy like I don't know like twenty dollars all you can drink like open bar for like four or five hours and. I've made very many bad decisions with that open bar. It's oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> Rudy's is always my death. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, we've gone to Rudy's. Anytime yes. me and you end up at Rudy's, I lose a phone or, like, my virginity. Anytime. Or, like, you, you can't know, trust like, a place that has hot dogs and beer special. Dead. Dude, you get a hot $3 dog $3 and for beer. Free. Yeah. The Lantern kills me. Right. Those $5 margaritas. Dude, Lantern kills me with power. Power hour. hour. Oh, my God. I don't think what? I've done a set on a Thursday sober in, like, the entire time. Every I've known time about I it. see him, five fifty on the dot. He's like, "Gotta walk over the lantern." Power hour is about to start. It's dollar shot, dollar mugs of beer, like, like little baby on, mugs. Really? But they're dollar shots, uh, and they're like they're well shots, but they're still shots. I mean, yeah. it's not oh. that bad. I've never even done it. Oh, no, oh, we've never we gotta do it. it. That's it. Oh yeah, we gotta do. Yeah, if you guys are around on Thursday, power hour, you gotta come. I can come. do it the Thursday before a Good Friday because I'm off on Friday. Uh, is that at the end of the month? Yes. 
Like, I don't even know the Jew holidays. What? I might be in Pittsburgh. I got to go back for Easter or something. Oh, wait, no. Is that? It's Catholic Good Friday. It's not the Orthodox. Yeah, Catholic. Yeah, that'll be fine. I think Easter's in April. Yeah, but we got April 1st. There's two different different kind for like, so my dad's Serbian Orthodox, Mm -hmm. and they go off, I think, the Gregorian calendar. I could be wrong. Um, But, and then the Catholic has like their own calendar, and like their Easter's are like a week apart. We have a different, uh, we have a different Christmas. Our Christmas is on the 7th. Um, I think it's so that interesting. Right. Our patron saint days on the second. Yeah, we have like a totally different. Yeah, they so like, uh, so like the big meal and like Santa Claus and all that shit. In my house, we always celebrate it on twenty fifth. But then on the seventh, we'd eat like cabbage rolls and lamb and fucking December stockfish 7th. and shit. Yeah, it was great. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no, December uh, or no uh, January seventh. January. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, ours, oh. so it's oh. afterward. Oh, okay. So you get like fucked up with the Italians and the Irish, which is like a blast. And then like I would get fucked up with the Serbs like a week later. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good time. Fun. Good time. Yes. <laughs> He's please. like, yeah, beer me. Yeah. <laughs> beer um, me, blazer. Beer, beer me. Beer me, good sir. Um, so now, w- Sabrina, you, what got you into stand up? Were you like originally in like theater or something or improv? Um, then- so I've been exposed to stand up since I was little. My mom was a comedian. Oh, okay. oh wow. Yeah. I did not know really that. Cool. You do know this. Wow. He's like, he did Lay not listen to me. Lay off the drugs! <laughs> 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 yeah. it was Damn it, Zach. Yeah, that was like at 7 o'clock. You know, like, like every hour. day. <laughs> that was like 7 o'clock after power hour when you told him that. Yeah, yeah right? Like, <laughs> every week. Blackout. It was like 7.01. He's like, yeah. 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 Blackout <laughs> drunk hosting comedy mob. I'm just like. <laughs> 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 and I was like, can I get on? <laughs> and that's how it goes. <laughs> Always. Um, so yeah, my mom was a comedian. So I was exposed to it since I was little. Like, my first stand-up show I went to, I think I was, like, eight or nine, Kathy Griffin. And I begged my mom for, like, I remember, like, two years to take me. And she was like, no, 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 no. And then finally she took me. But I would watch everything with her. And then I was in acting. She put me into acting when I was, like, a child. So I was always exposed to, like, the entertainment world and everything. And then I was just, like, creatively writing and, like, this and that. I was always told, like, you know, like, you're, like, you're a funny kid. Like, I was a little bit weird. And, uh... And then one day I just decided, I was like, when I was living in New York, like, I'm going to start stand-up. Get, wipe that fucking face off your face. I don't even know what that <laughs> look is. Face face. I don't know what that look is, Zach, but it I'm going to punch it. Was, it, was, it was, I'm a, I was a little weird, and so I just was thinking, like, no shit. Like, <laughs> that's how we all are, got are here. We, we all, all yeah. Right? So, yeah, so I just... Um, I decided, like, I, w- I would always, like, write, like, little jokes, and, like, they were, like, shit. Like, I remember the first, like, set I wrote. I was, like, 17 or 18. I didn't do anything with it, and I, like, found those jokes, like, a year ago, and I was like, this is pathetic. Um, and then I was walking down McDougal, like, a year and a half ago, and somebody tried to bark me into a Greenwich show, and I flipped it into me getting on a show. Yeah. <laughs> And I had never done stand-up before. And then they were like, yeah, I'll book you. And then I was like, oh, okay. Because I convinced them I was a comedian. Um, and they're retarded. So it was really easy. <laughs> 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 and then I got I'm- up and I started. And I did seven minutes. And the first three were interesting. Not terrible, terrible, terrible. And then the last four just bomb. Just totally <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> So yeah. Wow. How yeah. about you, Zach? Like, what got you into stand up? Um, I don't know. I was always a fan. Um, my dad was an actor and a cabaret singer in the seventies uh, in New York City. So like, I come from like an arts background too, like Sabrina. Um, so yeah, we were kind of. It was like I make. A, I mean, one of my big jokes is about it. It's but it's like you know I was pushed into tap shoes. Most of my friends were pushed into cleats. <laughs> so like it was like one of those things. Like, it was, <laughs> wasn't your usual upbringing in Allentown, Pennsylvania? You know. Oh, um, but yeah, no. Uh, so I started doing theater with my dad when I was about. Uh, I was in fourth grade, so I was like, what? What is that? Ten, nine, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like ten. I did Fiddler on the Roof, and I was like this fat oh, little awkward God. kid, and like you know, in, in like you know, goofy little costume. My dad was playing Laser Wolf, so like I started doing that. And I took acting all the way through college. Uh, I did uh, musical. I did. I majored in acting, but I, I did mostly musical theater stuff and all that. Because uh, believe it or not, I can sing. Uh, yes, and very uh, well. Yeah. Very well. <laughs> very well. Stop it. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. And then I was doing uh, when I got to uh, so. Right as I was graduating high school, there was like this talent show thing I got roped into that I didn't want to do, and they were like, "Well, you got to sing, right?" And I was like. No, I'm gonna do stand up. And they were like, "Have you ever done that before?" I was like, "Yeah, sure." You know, 
Right. And uh, I just did like a lot of like impressions. Like I used to be like I could do like all the Family Guy voices and like I could do Elmo. I could do Kermit the Frog and all this shit. You got to so, give us a little because you I love it. Well, you know, I mean, it's uh, it's one of those things like when you're talking to Kermit the Frog, uh, you know, uh, it's not easy being green, you know, especially because everyone thinks you have the clap, you know. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then like, nah, so like uh, sometimes I do uh, I do Peter Griffin. I haven't done it in a really long time, so like this is kind of shitty, but uh, that's pretty much it. And like, Stewie, oh, what the deuce? What are you doing, Brian? What are you doing? What's going on there? Um, <laughs> Snap to you. <laughs> I know. But my favorite one I do is uh, is the old man from Family Guy. I used to do this at Book all the time, you remember? Mm -hmm. I was like, so, uh, hey, guys, um, I just really want to um, just see your, uh, see your butthole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've actually heard him bark at people like that. Yeah. So Comedy show with the grizzly bear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. Um, but yeah, no. So I did like all these impressions, and it was like them fighting whether or not Elmo was a Muppet, and like Don Corleone gets involved, and he's like, "Oh, you know, he's, he's actually my godfather." You know, it's like a whole fucking thing. <laughs> but it was it was shit, but I mean, it was good. It, like you know, it was good to make like eighteen year olds laugh. Right. Um, and then I, when I got to college, I kind of didn't touch it for a while, and then I started doing open mics uh, with Norlex, actually. Uh, Norlex was in Pittsburgh uh, right when I was in Pittsburgh, and he used to catch me, like, underage drinking in the back of mics and, like, yeah. writing down jokes that made no sense. Um, and then I was doing frat parties as well. They would, like, pay me in booze or, like, you know, a couple bucks, and I was pretty much just jumping through tables and cracking cans over my head because uh, that's my skill set. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and then I moved to New York. Um, I broke my ankle in Pittsburgh. I was a boxer out there, and I uh, broke my ankle, so I was back in Allentown. I did a little bit of theater there, and I fucking hated it. And I was like, ah, this isn't for me anymore. I'm just done. And uh, second I moved to New York, I just started hitting open mics and all that stuff, and uh, I got involved with Comedy Mob. They, got, they were really supportive with me in the beginning, and they have been continually. And then, uh, yeah, I've just kind of been – I haven't really looked back. I just kept doing it, and we're having fun, so – Awesome. Yeah. Um, so, w what about theater kind of turned you off? Was it just the location of the theater, or was it just you just lost the passion for it? Yeah, it was. Uh, I was in a dinner theater, and no offense to the people who you know ran the dinner theater; it's not their fault. It's just it was like uh, it was a bullshit Christmas show. I mean, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. It was like one of those things that I did for a paycheck because I wasn't making any money. I was working in a warehouse for my buddy's dad, and. Uh, the guy offered me a role, and I was like, okay, I'll do it. And I did it, and it was fine. It was fun-ish, but it was just, like, it wasn't what I wanted to do the rest of my life. Like, oh, like this is what I have to do, like, renaissance fairs and, like, dinner theater and then wake up at 6 a.m. to go to, like, real auditions that I'm not going to get seen until I'm in the union and stuff like that. Or I can write my own material, you know, make my own show, basically. Right. And do what I really like to do, and that's make people laugh. So, like, I was, like, sick of, like – and. It, it's the culture in theater. Like the people are kind of shitty. Yeah, very shady. Everyone's everyone's very, really very everyone's shady. really catty. I gotta be honest. Oh, yeah. um, okay. I have like a, I have a I have a huge problem with like how the theater community treats each other. Um, it was one of those things that I was never really accepted because I am like this dipshit straight dude, and they don't really have that walking around all the time. So everyone was. I mean, maybe they were intimidated by me, and if they were, oops. But I mean, like no one really ever got the chance to like ask me how I felt about anything. It was always just like, oh, it's Zach. Just put him in a fucking beard you know what i mean and like right. that was it so it was just one of those things that uh i just kind of got sick with like the rigmarole of that waking up at 6 a.m and doing cattle call auditions and uh yeah it was just uh it was a better fit for me i mean the comedy club really always called my called me i mean for some reason or another there's just something about you and a microphone and not giving a fuck it's just uh right. yeah you know yeah, what yeah. i mean like that freedom it, yeah i mean i'm not reading someone else's words that i'm pissed that like i can't say it the way i want to say it mm -hmm. i get to say whatever i want now it's I don't know. That's really yeah. where it is. I think it's I a think little bit more creative. Notes. Also, yeah. also when the writing is bad, it compromises the acting for yeah. sure. Oh my god, because mm -hmm. you can't believe in bad writing. It's the worst. Yeah. I mean, like right. that's why it's like, or if you can't. My favorite was like we did Streetcar Named Desire in college, and I don't know about you guys, but twenty one year olds, yeah, twenty one year olds should not like they, they don't have the the life experience to understand what the hell is really going on in that show. I still don't. I'm 24. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, right. like you got to be like late 20s, early 30s to really have enough life experience to like know what the emotions you're supposed to be feeling in those roles are. Right. And Life hasn't completely kicked you in the nuts yet. Exactly. Right. You're in college performing on a stage in front of like 500 people a night and you don't even like, you're taking it for granted. You know what I mean? Like, right. the, And you're the only straight dude in the theater program. Like you're not. Well, not only, not but yeah. No, not only, but, I mean, 
I mean, there was always a saying, gay by May, and I made it like four years without sucking a dick. So, I mean, like, I think I did, I think I did pretty good. You know what I mean? I was tempted. I was tempted. Honey, you guys are you're, you you're, you're slick. It. I gotta be yeah, honest. They're real you're slick. slick. Like, we're all slick. We're all in the changing room together. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> my ass, your ass, my ass, your ass. <laughs> Oh my god, my dick <laughs> fell into your hand. What? <laughs> Can I, I go pee with got, you? How did it get so hard? Yeah. I'll hold it. <laughs> I must have taken a Viagra instead of an Adderall. Oh god, it was so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, that was it. But uh yeah, no, uh theater, I mean like I would do it again, but it would have to be like the right people. Uh Tribe Theater Company out in uh, Harlem is fucking fantastic. There are a bunch of people I went to school with at Point Park. Mm-hmm. And uh they would be an awesome they're an, they actually run a really cool open mic, you guys should check it out. Um it's called Work in Progress. It's like mixed between like singing and I think oh you've my been god. there. I know uh Nick is like one of my homeboys. Nick, Nick Duggan? Uh yeah, the, yeah, this is last name. The long haired one? Uh no no no. He has like a short hair. Oh, Nick good. McDonough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went to school with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Very good friend. Shout out, Nick. Fuck, it's um, a small world. I've been trying to get him on the podcast. Oh my god. I'll call yeah, I'll yeah. I'll yell at him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nikki Nikki, if you're listening. Yeah. What? That's crazy. <laughs> That's so funny. This I didn't is even a small world. I was literally at his house not that long ago. Uh Nick Duggan had a birthday, so his roommate Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh I came in late, but we did not it was, it was yeah. <laughs> I brought the party. Uh, <laughs> 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 so, yeah. Um Damn, it's a small world. Too small. Yeah. So, uh, Sabrina, how do you feel about what's going on with the administration right now? So I'm gonna I'm gonna say a little disclosure disclosure right now. Uh, Zach and I the other day when we saw we were gonna be on the podcast together, Laughed we're like about this hard. We're I was like, wait for the politics part, just wait for it, because like if he could, he'd have like Rolling Rock as like president. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, support Trump. I I will openly say that. So I don't same, I don't know what you're saying same, about that. Same. So <laughs> <laughs> we just knew there would be so there's gonna be something, but it's okay. <laughs> but um, I am not happy with it. Not okay with anything. It's just, like, everything's so fucking outrageous right now. Mm. Like, this whole, like, NRA situation and everything. And, like, the guns and the school. Like, now he wants guns in school, which is, like, hilarious. Because I found a, a tweet from the other day where he's like, Crooked Hillary says I want guns in school. Lies. <laughs> right. right. Like, exactly. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were like, you lying then or are you lying now? Yeah. <laughs> like, right. He has no idea. Like, I, I like that he did a tweet today and one of the words in it he put was dying and he spelled it wrong. <laughs> oh, and it's just like. How do you spell it out of curiosity? I don't, I'm not on Twitter. Uh, D-I-E. I-N-G. Shut up. That's how he spelled it. That's how he spelled it. Everybody knows. Oh my God. Like he doesn't even have autocorrect. Like, are you kidding? Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah what the ducks is problem? <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's crazy. And uh, I saw. But that, you like, think like Kushner... some intern is like typing his. That his... is autocorrect. See, that's the thing. Wait. I feel like somebody else definitely has access to it, right? But he probably has like his little like pad or something that he does it to. Like, I feel like like Baron is the one that looks it over. He's like, this looks good because he's kind of fucking stupid too. Ooh. Who yeah. cares? Who cares? Oh well, his gotta, kid's an idiot. All gotta, his kids are idiots. I'm not yeah. just like I'm not just picking on the little one. Or the They're autistic st- one. But, oh, oh, but I'm the bad one. I, yeah. Just saying. The I, entire so, thing. You is know just, something? I, I know like a lot of people are like, oh, like you can't say anything about Baron, but like you know something? Who's going to be running the empire when his dad and his mom are in jail? It's going to be fucking Baron. Like, yeah. Right. Baron he's just going to look. He's just going to look, and then he's going to fall asleep again. Baron looks like that's, he's that's aspiring. Part of it, though, they talked to about the the Obama's kids and yeah, um, and, okay, the, and the but, twins when they were growing up. The the, oh, the Bush, Bush, the Bush twins. twins, yeah. Like honestly, like, like Baron looks like he's aspiring to be like like. Joffrey Baratheon, like <laughs> it's just like <laughs> it's eighteen, Tut just hanging like, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like when he's eighteen, he's gonna like ask his dad if he can like like shoot a hooker with a bow and arrow. Like that's that's gonna be his eighteen. Be like, birthday sure, present. I'll help you. I did that last week. Like, <laughs> yeah. Or he's gonna break bad and start a rock band. Yeah, that's what I, I doubt no, it. No, I don't no, remember no. <laughs> which uh, which person it was. They worked on SNL. They were a writer, and they said that like Baron Trump will be the first. Homeschooled shooter. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's, that's him. Good. That's him. <laughs> yeah. And then like the whole like Melania thing, like that's just all fucking sham. Like, come on. Well, and the way that they just like, 
like get always right swatting, yeah. always, always swatting. swatting. And like, well, the newest the thing with Melania though, it's, oh yeah, and, and like they're not even attacked. They're like, don't talk about my president. It's like you guys called him a fucking monkey, you racist pieces of shit. Now right. you actually have some terrible, terrible dude in office that you all elected, and it's like, oh no, don't touch my president. Like snowflakes, yeah, you guys are little bitches. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get out. <laughs> and like the the funny thing is now the. The biggest controversy around Melania right now is that she got the like quote unquote Einstein like like uh, citizenship. Oh, she doesn't even know how to spell Einstein. Right. It's like so she got like um like some sort of like green card or, or citizenship that is reserved for people with extraordinary ability. Wait, I read this today. Yeah. What? Yes. She is I read that today. So like extraordinary. Which, like what? Like she's like, like give ability. extraordinary rim jobs. Like what is? Yeah. Like, yeah, no, yeah, like exactly. oh, that's kind of, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> oh God, rimming Trump. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I've got like a vision. Do you, like can you even like imagine <laughs> what she has to do for a Birkin bag? Uh, like I, uh, I don't want to. Rimming Trump, yeah. she probably comes up looking like the nacho cheese machine at Broadway Comedy. Nacho dick. Nacho dick, Trump. <laughs> I love it. It's disgusting. It's gross. It makes me so everything just makes me so sad. I mean, they just took um, Kushner's <laughs> security clearance right. down a notch, yeah, which is great because he's also a fucking idiot. His dad was a total crook too in jail, and uh, and it it just like it can't. It can't get better. That's the saddest part. Like, it's just going to keep going Getting downhill. Worse, yeah. And I thought that after, like, the Michael Wolf book, like, something might have changed. But all it did was, like, create this, like, hype for, like, a weekend. And then everyone's like, well, I'm going to go back to just tweeting things about him and making Facebook statuses. It's like, no, no, that's not going to help. Like, he's going to be in office for the four years, all right? And I think Pence would be worse. Pence is the brain behind everything. That's what yeah. I truly brain. believe. That's a big word. I, <laughs> well, <laughs> Maybe the he's, android. He's, uh, I mean, have you seen him? He's the ass like, of the operation. Yeah. Yeah. Is that better? It's going to be good. He's I like, swear. where's my mother? And like his wife yeah. walks in. He's a creep too. Hate them all. Hate them all. And I hope that they all fucking die. But my thing is that if he gets out of office, like right now, like Trump, if he gets out of office, and then it's going to be Pence and it's going to be worse because then the VP would be um, Ryan, uh, Paul Ryan, who has no fucking spine and he's the worst also. Mm-hmm. And it's just everyone is so like, it's atrocious. All, like, I forgot how it works, beings. though. Here's my if, thing. If, if, if he were to get kicked out, would the vice president then have, like, f- another four years? No. No, 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 no. He finishes just up finished the term. The term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Term, yeah. Um, here's my big thing. Uh, everyone's talking about, like, <clears throat> Oprah running for president. Oh, my God. I think we should throw that out. I got a better idea. Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama she or Joe Biden. Do it. Of course she doesn't want to do it, but my God. Yeah, it she would, be, be, she would be amazing. That's like the I ultimate agree. Hillary. I, I gotta be honest. So much. It's, yeah. I like I like yeah, Barack way more than I like Bill. I mean, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I still like Bill, but like, I, Mich- I know. at least with I, I, I like the idea of Michelle more than Oprah, just for the fact that Michelle was a lawyer. She does have an understanding of like government and politics, and like just because you run a company doesn't mean that you know how to run the government. The government Clearly. is not a company; it's a bureaucracy. Yeah. And like when you're like the CEO, like everyone runs around kissing your ass, and like they do what you tell them to. You've got checks and balances. Like you have to work with other people, and I feel like when these like CEOs like don't know how to do that, they just think like, oh, well, it's my company, and I said so, and it's like n- no. We have to vote on this. And they're like, oh, like, I, I don't know. I think that um, this every week I, I feel like, oh, there's he can't possibly do something or say something dumber. And then he just does and says something so much dumber. Yeah. Like, like he's still a reality star. He's famous for saying you're fired. Like, yeah, exactly. Did you guys <laughs> see the cue cards when he was meeting with them with the victims of Parkland? And on it, it said, listen, that was one of the things he had to do. Because yeah. somebody had to remind him and say, like, I'm sorry. Somebody had to actually tell him how to be a fucking person. person. Yeah. Because he doesn't know how to do yeah. that. I'm He's not, the worst. I'm not shocked by any of that. I think that actually, it's, you know, that's makes kind sense. of, that makes sense. Yeah. Here's the thing. I'm just not shocked by anything that happens anymore. No. Like, there's nothing that that guy is going to say that I'm going to be amazed by. Am I going to be offended? Eh, probably not. You'd have to beat my mom with, like, a two by four to offend me. But, I mean, like, it's like, I just, I, I don't know. The thing of it is, is. He's only got as much power as Congress lets him have. 
first yeah, of all. Yeah, but the Republicans are running everything. Yeah, I hear that. But we got midterm elections coming up. Everyone just got to go out and vote. That's the fucking bottom line. Yep. Yeah. I'm, I, here's the thing. Please I'm just, register. I am sick of hearing a bunch please of people vote. who didn't vote complain. Because there are a bunch of people that don't vote, don't ever vote, but they have a fucking say and like they, they get to chirp out and like, you know, here's the thing. People who elected them, they came out and voted. I mean, that's yep. the bottom line. Yeah. And that's a, that's a group that like, have they actually been subjugated? No. But have, have we been like shitting on them as a community for a long time? Yes. I mean, the middle of the country is like, you know, they're just a forgotten you know, land. It's, uh, you know, you have like these old mill towns and, you know, oh, the paper mill and, you know, oh, the steel mill and, oh, uh, you know, I'm a farmer and mm-hmm. I, I just I just want more of that. And the thing is, it's just archaic at this point. And but there's nothing else that they can do because their families have been doing it for like generations and generations and generations. Like my dad's family, they're all Pittsburgh steel workers. OK. Mm-hmm. And I mean, they're all I mean, they're all Democrat because of the Depression, because my grandfather came in during the Depression and FDR like fucking cinched a democrat vote on that for like life because you know he's fd fucking r but um it was one of those things that like you know they they like the mill went away when in the 90s like when i was a kid yeah and my grandfather had already been retired my uh my uncle got laid off and uh it was just subsidized and a company from i want to say germany bought them and now they're like literally like it used to be the only reason the town had any money for anybody. I mean, everyone worked at, at the, the mill. mill. And now you go there and it's, it's like, like you're on it's like you're on a movie set that everyone just fucking left. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's terrifying. It like is. it's just it like is. meth heads everywhere. Like I'm every dive bar you go too. in, it's like people are just fucking sitting there pounding their day mm-hmm. away because they have nothing else to do. Everyone's fucking. Everyone's Everybody's on unemployment. Oh my god! Yeah, like and just that's all. And if do. they're not, they're working at Walmart. You know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. like because that's because that's the only fucking thing they have yeah. out there. So here's the thing. I mean, getting pissed off and insulting these people. You know, calling them dumbasses, calling them retards, whatever. I mean, are they, you know, kind of retarded for doing this? Yes, 100%. But they had no other way. They just voted. They just showed up and voted. And no one has listened to them for so fucking long. Maybe if, like, you know, you have you have companies that, like, you know, some kind of... I don't know. I don't I don't have the fucking answer. I'm a fucking comedian. But I mean, like, <laughs> you know, I just. But like, don't most people like kind of like you're saying, like, it's a ghost town and like no one lives there. But like, don't reasonable people realize like there's nothing to support them in this area and they get up and they move because like that's how cities began. Cities began because we have cycles in which in the farmlands, in the the middle of the country, in the south, there's no work. We have a drought. You can't farm. So what do you do? You move out to the coast. You move to the cities because that's where the jobs are. This is the ebb and flow of our society. And I personally don't think that if 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 you want to be extinct, no one's stopping you from being extinct. The only person that's going to stop you from being extinct is yourself. If you want to be relevant, then get up, move, go go get a job somewhere that they have jobs. I mean, it's just like, it makes no sense to me that like, we're supposed to just feel so sorry for all of these people when you have people living in inner cities that also don't have work, that are actually where the work is, that are getting, you know, minimum wage or less than minimum wage. I mean, I just read an article today that the average Uber driver makes $3 an hour. Like, I mean, like these guys aren't busting their asses, like driving across the city. I mean, they're actually in a place that has work, but they probably are making too much money to get any of the subsidies that someone sitting in a bar all day is just drinking away taxpayer money. But that person drinking away taxpayer money is saying that, you know, like we're a bunch of elites in the the East Coast and the West Coast. And it's our tax money that's allowing you to drink yourself away so that you can be racist against us. 100%. So like, I hear you, you know, yeah. like, I'm sorry, but go fuck yourself. Like that. No, so I, I hear I think, you. I think there's two yeah. points to that. I think there's that's why they elected Trump, I think, because he kept saying, oh, I'm going to bring jobs. And as a businessman, if you don't have a job right, and you're hearing this guy and you're like, he's going to create a job. Okay, okay, I'm going to get a job, then I'm going to get money, and then maybe I'll move. Because these people, they don't, they don't have, have the funds money. to move. They just don't have enough they money can't to move go to anywhere. New York. They can't move to Cali. Like, they I'll can't tell you down. right now, my family in Weirden, like, no. I mean, they're, I mean, they have, everyone's living off, like, an inherited house. 
Yeah, or if you're because yeah. their families yeah. have been there for so long. Yeah, and but since the war, you have an inherited house. Like, so someone that's like living in the South Bronx, that's parents are in the projects. They never even had enough money to get a house to begin with to be able to pass it down to another generation. Even though they have no money, they still have some sort of ancestral wealth that they can pass down to a generation. Like. My grandparents didn't have a house to give to my parents. My parents didn't have a house to give to me. I don't have a house to give to my kids if I ever have them. And I've been working since I've been 16 years old. So, like, you know, I it, again, it's like it, you don't have money to move. Like, I, I, I don't know. I just kind of feel like uh, there's a lot of problems, and I understand that a lot of people depended on factory work but at the same time it's kind of like you know people used to be milkmen yeah. like y- yeah. you know what i mean like there there were entire populations of people across the country that were milkmen but do do we say like mm-hmm. oh well what about the milkmen you know the grocery store put milkmen out of business it's like no get another job right i hear you not sure um and it's also like i just read this article and it said that people in like major cities like here, you know, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Miami, like, you know, um, that everything they earn is just going to rent every single month. I mean, yeah. That's what happens. And with that's me. it. And you can't yeah. save and you can't buy same. Yeah. And you mm-hmm. can't buy anything. But these people who are in like Kansas or like Ohio or like a- anywhere, you know, like mostly like Midwest, Middle America, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. They uh, they have this land or they're paying such cheap rent for how, like, you know, they're paying $400 for an entire house. Right. They can't yeah. get anything close to that if they moved here to get another job. They oh, have no. Like to just if I moved back home, home, yeah. If I That's moved it. back home and was paying what I'm paying in Brooklyn right now, I would have a full house. I think yeah. it's also it, it's also a culture shock. If they came here, can you imagine? They wouldn't, they wouldn't know, what, know to what to do with themselves. Uh, yeah, no. They wouldn't have the skills that they couldn't And no one up. would help them either. That's the yeah. other thing. Not no, that they no, no. need help, but I'm saying, like, here's the thing. We got to stop looking at it as like sides and we got to start looking at it as one big community. That's the only way this is going to work. I'm not saying that there's terrible people on both sides. Good job, Sabrina. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was that's actually funny. Um, <laughs> I like, I'm just like, it really is her so first sorry. beer. That's I insane. Just, <laughs> like she, I just I haven't had a beer that since beer. high school. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, but it's true. Oh Back my off. god. Um, but no, I like all joking aside, I think that we need we need a bit more of an open dialogue with these people, finding a way to incorporate them in the community. I mean, as far, and I'm talking about the country as a community. Hell, even, so good job. Even, um, even like you have like uh, a West Coast versus East Coast thing. I mean, you have New Yorkers like who don't like Californians. I mean, like, you're not, and like, it's just like, I mean, it happens. Yeah, I mean, no, you know yeah, what I'm saying? No, you know, yeah, I mean, no, you lived on both sides. Yeah, I, I, you know I, I, what it's I lived like. in both, yeah. and I know what exactly what yeah, it's like. Yeah, like, oh, the East Coast, gross. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, the West like, Coast is like, oh, the East Coast. Like, exactly. New Yorkers are so cold. They're so nasty. And then we're yeah. like, LA people are just fucking stupid. stupid. Yeah, we're in, yeah. <laughs> so, they all look the same. <laughs> it's just, it, it's one of those things that the it sun is, hit their brain. Yeah. And the last two cells they had left in it. They quite literally. Really are just baked, like just <laughs> so true. Just baked potatoes, quite so literally. true. Ugh, uh, I want to love you, LA. Yeah, but yeah, me. it's um. I think that it's not going to get solved overnight. First of all, I mean, I think that we can all agree on that. Um, and I think that conversations like this is what is going to keep, you know, people learning and people being a little bit more. And uh, people a little bit more open to a dialogue so we don't have another Trump get fucking elected. Instead, we can – I mean, I think the two-party system is the biggest fucking issue. I mean, you're put, you're literally putting people on two sides of a coin instead of, like, you know, you look at, like, British Parliament where they have, like, so many parties. And it's just, like – it's not just on, like, one side has these issues, one side has these issues. You know what I mean? I think I think you can vote on more. I said to. the system, the electoral college is also like – Oh, that's got to go. I mean, first, that's got to go. Does it doesn't make sense no. anymore for what we're yeah. or where we are now. Yeah. No. Everything like, is awful right now. Um, I mean, the electoral college, gun control, hello. Everything's got to change. This is true. This and is they just don't want to change it. They're getting too much money from it. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. Cash they don't. They don't care. Yeah, exactly. They don't give a shit about the American people. They give a shit about their bank accounts. 
This is true. But we're going to have to go. Um, well, we've got, uh, yeah, we've got. Uh, flew by. Yeah. It, it yeah. just it does, does throw by. It does Time fly by. When you're having fun. fun. Yeah. Um, oh, twinsies. <laughs> so, but before we go, um, where can everyone follow you on social media? What shows do you have coming up next? I'll start with you, Zach. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm, uh, for the most part, uh, every Friday and Saturday night, 10 o'clock, I'm down at the Grizzly Pair on the 10 o'clock show. Uh, PJ Landers headlines out usually with uh, me and Ralph Anthony, so we usually have a pretty good time. Richie Redding's done it a few times, so that's always that's uh, somewhere you can always find me in the city. Um, I have some big shows coming up. I have an NYU show on March 8th. Shout out to NYU. I got, um, uh, it is Bar 1803 uh, down in the Lower East Side. I got a show that same day, March 8th. And then uh, out on uh, Norman Ave, I got a Brooklyn show at 11. And then if you guys want to find me on Instagram, I'm at Zachy Peanuts, Z-A-C-H-Y Peanuts. Yes. Sabrina. All right. Uh, doing a bunch of shows this weekend. I always post on my Instagram, which is S Pipes, uh, with three S's at the end of Pipes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to change it to Sabrina Piper, but um, a squirrel has my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> true story. True story. <laughs> um, no pictures, just one follower. So anyway, uh, and on Wednesday, I guess this is March 8th, right? March or March, March, 7th? March 7th. March 7th. March 7th uh, I'm in March Madness for the Stress Factory out in Jersey. I think that it's like East Rutherford, I want to say, yeah. next to Rutgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's East okay, Rutgers. so come out. It's five bucks. Um, clap for me, laugh at me. I'm so cute and Jewish, you're going to love it. Um, <laughs> 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 but it's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah, follow me. <laughs> like my pictures. Awesome, Don't you guys. jack off to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for uh, being on the show. And, thanks for uh, having us. Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. Awesome. And we'll totally get you guys back again. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. This is Big Talk and Brewskies.
Yeah, big talking brewskis. Marissa Smith is who you see. What a cooler combo in here. Crack a cold one, we're on the air. Big talking brewskis. Marissa Smith is who you see. What a cooler combo in here. Crack a cold one, we're on the air. Kicking back, having a few beers, we're chatting. Pull up your chair, we're all relaxing. Any subject, we never dismiss. Big talking brewskis with Marissa Smith. Comedy, sex, relationships, war. Any subject, we got it in store. Big talking brewskis is coming in live. Crack when open, Marissa has arrived. Big talking brewskis with Marissa Smith. Hey guys, welcome yeah. back. I'm Marissa Smith. This is Big Talking Brewskis. I've got Rhonda Daniel still with me. What's up, guys? It's Big Talking Brewskis time. Segment two. Segment two, you guys. We're doing segment two. So um, we have two new guests. We've got uh, Dua Osman with us. Hello. And we've got Sam Campbell with us. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. So, um, Dua, how was your week? Um, good. You know, Trump's still president, but. Yeah, that's just yeah. That's just give fine. it time, though. I feel like Mueller's chipping away at it every day. Yeah, it's okay. I don't have a soul anymore, so it's, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's funny because I feel like I've lost so much weight since uh, the election. Oh, wow. So like, I I felt like from like the election day, I like just was so stressed out I couldn't eat, and then like I went from like like a ten to like probably like a four now like in this and you like, didn't shit for like a month <laughs> no i didn't oh no like, literally no i literally i i was i was, I was scared shitless that was the worst birthday ever my birthday was november is november 8th so no. last year yeah. literally i was just like Mine's what the, the 19th, fuck is happening so people yeah. were crying yeah. at the bar yes. like I had and a, i was just like oh why is this happening on my birthday and then like i like Woke up the next day, like maybe it was all a dream. And today is really my birthday. <laughs> and I was like, no, no. <laughs> I know my birthday was in November too last yeah. year, and I was planning like a big party for the Friday after the election, and I had to change like all of the plans. <laughs> <laughs> Instead like, of being ruined. like, let's celebrate, I was like, please come out. I think it'll be good for you. <laughs> you need to be with people who love you and care about you. <laughs> like, let's celebrate each other. <laughs> It's crazy. So sad. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. How about you, Sam? How was your week? Uh, I had a pretty good week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I teach preschool at a oh, yeah, nice. yeah, at a Jewish preschool. So this week was Purim, which is like a dope ass Jewish holiday. Uh, <laughs> so what exactly is Purim? Purim is like. Um, it's the story of like an evil, this evil man, Haman, and he tells the king to get rid of all the Jews. And then Queen Esther stands up for all the Jews and says that she's Jewish and that they can't get rid of all the people. So it's a celebration of womanhood. And there's two really strong we female characters in the in the tale and it's just it's so fun you wear costumes like on Halloween and it's there's also like a perfect time for women's international women's yeah month, yeah, right? yeah it always exactly. falls around yeah. like the March time awesome. um, yeah you wear costumes and you do all silly games you make really good cookies <laughs> 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 it's like it's a really fun holiday Ooh, yeah that's awesome mm -hmm. um, it's funny because I did a show on Wednesday and the show was called Sabra and it was on Purim and I felt like I was the only Israeli that like only person that wasn't Israeli like on the show but I am a step Jew so I kind of felt like <laughs> yeah. it was okay but like yeah I'm like I was not raised Jewish so I like learn everything the oh, same way like yeah. the two year olds do where yeah. I'm like, like the and then what years. happened we <laughs> 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 missed her <laughs> She's great. <laughs> <laughs> we just have the tooth fairy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, um, I mean, I, I think I walked in on you guys uh, do it, like kind of like talking about like uh, Trump being president no. and like how, how do you feel like this is affecting comedy? Oh, um. Well, at least for me, you know, when I do stand, I do stand up and sketch. Okay. And okay. so I just feel like it's not really funny because the reality is just so much more absurd than any joke I could come up with. So that mm -hmm. I just I stay away from that. Yeah. I can't even it's not even, you know, for fear of, you know, any retaliation or anything. It's literally like this is not funny. I'm going to talk about 
pooping. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. I can't talk no, about I, Trump. I, I'm the same way. I, I tend to stay away from it just because it's kind of like people are coming to the show to escape what's yeah. going on in the outside right. world. We don't need Absolutely. that good more reminders of like yeah, and, the craziness. And, and you know, the, like the guys for, from South Park, um, the guys from SNL, they all said the same thing. They're like, we just can't keep doing this. We can't keep making fun of him. Like, you know, we just, it's he ruined comedy for us. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's kind of like, uh, reminds me of when it, Tina Fey used to do the Sarah Palin sketches. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they like wouldn't write her lines. Yeah. They would yeah. just, you know, transcribe what Sarah Palin <laughs> like wrote. And people day. thought that the writers were doing it, but it's like, no, no, no. The joke is that we didn't. We yeah. didn't. We didn't, yeah. we didn't write the anything. joke is there is no joke. There is no joke. <laughs> That's this was an really actual what interview. She said. Yeah. 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 Like, like, you could do like the split screen of them doing it at the same time. time. Yeah. Like, like, oh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, definitely. Yeah. I did one joke this past week, but I do I do tend to stay away from politics. I like try and like I'm like, can we just be like happy? <laughs> uh, yeah. But I did do one joke this past week about giving teachers guns. That was just like a list of things. I mean, like everyone's doing on social media. Like, I'm a teacher. This is something I want before a gun. Uh, So I did like my list of things before. Yeah, because you like you are a teacher. Like, like I mean, do you or any of the other teachers you know actually want guns? No, no. It's like I literally still change diapers. Like (laughs) I was like, I can't be packing and changing a diaper. That's wild. That's so crazy. (laughs) Yeah. It's like I mean it's crazy. I've had to like learn how to patch a gun wound as part of my training at a at a teach at early uh, like early childhood education oh centers and like oh. I know how to do that because of my job and I'm a preschool teacher. Like wow. that's that's so dumb. That's crazy. I mean preschool they should be packing cookies. So like yeah. 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 Right. Gun shot yeah. just in case. No. Maybe some insulin shots, you know, if the kids yeah. have too much sugar. I don't know. Uh, yeah. But maybe like an epidural pen yeah. like yeah. Yeah. an epi pen or something. Yeah. That yeah. was yeah. when she was a kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, to me it's funny cuz I I recently I was talking to my I have three brothers and you know they're all black too and uh <laughs> I, and we all we're very we, it's not that we have a problem with authority but you know our parents raised us to be because my parents are like revolutionaries in Africa and like they raised us to you know question things and so I just I kept thinking to myself like I feel like my brothers and I wouldn't be alive right now if my teachers were allowed to have guns, guns because yeah. I feel like you know if one of those days that I was mouthing off you know maybe my teacher was in a bad mood and they were just sick of it and they were like, you know, well, shoot me. That's I was in crazy. elementary school yeah. when they stopped being allowed to hit us. Yeah. And so like, you know, I still remember like kids like getting spanked by the teacher with a paddle and, like, and they'd go and like yeah. bring the kid to the front of the room and like the teacher would like sit on the desk, put the kid across their oh lap God. and like start paddling them in front of the class. Oh, like, so yeah. I, like I remember like when like that was still happening. Yeah. So like it's it's like. Yeah, like it, they couldn't handle paddling. Like, yeah. how are, how are you going to handle a gun? Right. It's like it's yeah. crazy. It's and not to say all teachers are you know, like no. crazy and can't handle emotion, but you know there are but some. But still, that, yeah, there like, should not be <laughs> holding nah, a there's gun. There's just too many. Yeah. There's just too many factors. Yeah, like no. No. Yeah. you ha- have you have been around like. <laughs> 10 5 year olds yeah <laughs> you're going to want to shoot them <laughs> <laughs> like, you're going to want to shoot one right <laughs> sam like, uh, i've never had that urge uh, <laughs> but they're still babies they're like, still babies i mean like it's cr- it's just crazy to me i'm like this can't possibly be the solution to stop uh school shootings is by more. putting more guns inside it's... of schools it just seems i'm like i'm like i don't understand how you could argue against that one line I'm like I just don't know I'm like I genuinely would like to hear why that's a good idea (laughs) it's not it's just so crazy how did they get to like giving teachers guns before they got to like putting metal detectors in schools like I I think there are metal detectors in a lot of schools but like like inner city schools but not like not not like not not where the shootings happen yeah exactly you know that not where the shootings happen yeah totally it's true because, because these it's like don't happen in the inner like you've right. never heard of it no. like a because, because it's all these no yeah that's ain't really nobody true. running out of Brooklyn that's because half the kids are you might get already. shot when you leave the school <laughs> <laughs> you might get shot in the school yeah. Like, yeah. It's just, I mean but like it's yeah. like that same trope in like the media it's like he was sick and it's yeah. like yeah. if it's like a person of color it's just not it's the same yeah he was a terrorist and like it's yeah always a he but it's like 
Yeah. Usually. Yeah. yeah. It's always a he. It's it always, is a, always he. a he. But you know shit's going to go bad when you finally have a female school shooter. It's oh, just yeah. like but, yeah. everybody's just like, you know, something curtains. We're all going to die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, we, we have the women's march every year and you don't really hear about any incidents or no. shootings. And it's like, oh, because it's majority, you know, women. women. Yeah. yeah. Women. We don't. And it's we're like, loud, but we're, yeah. we don't. And kill I, anyone. Yeah. yeah. And and I mean, <laughs> this is that, I watch the I ID mean, channel. That is not true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, bitches be killing. Bitches be killing a lot. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and snapped. I watch it snapped. Snapped. A lot, yeah. But, I'm like, Shit, I but it's either. usually somebody they've had sex with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Don't hit it and quit it, and you yeah. won't have to be dodging these bullets. Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you just motherfucker just ghost me. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Say hello back. to my dental <laughs> friend. <laughs> <laughs> like, right? what I supposed oh, to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like honestly, like I never and and this is probably not like the great like subsection to ask the question to you, but like you always have a male shooter. You never have a right. female shooter. And it's not like women aren't raped, assaulted, mm-hmm. battered, and don't have um, trauma or PTSD or whatever. Mm-hmm. And really, like, statistically, you'll have more of these, like, violent acts that would be, um, you know, creating some mental hiccup I- among more women than these guys, like, st- like stereotypically straight white men between the ages of... 18 to 30 but women aren't shooting up the schools i mean you never heard of a sorority girl that had like gone to a frat party and like somebody gave her roofie and like ran a train on her and then she ran back to the door and started shooting everybody up yeah Yeah. like nobody does that right she means she's gonna start an eating disorder but like or or, or be a stripper but like the other girls in the sorority house like yeah like um, fucking with her yeah you know like so like i don't understand like what is wrong with with men i feel like it's just like another consequence of like the patriarchy you know what i mean Mm -hmm. like in the same way that like obviously the patriarchy like fucks over women and gender non-conforming folk Mm -hmm. but like it also fucks up men like they're told they can't like access emotions they can't ask for help they can't reach out like they don't need community the same way women do and like women are given paths that like help them like cope cope. yeah yeah Mm -hmm. and like men are they're also like exposed to a lot more trauma that's so real uh but like men when they're isolated and when they have like mental health needs and or are extremely violent or or like they are told to go to violence as like a way of coping coping. yeah where women are like like they're told like don't cry don't be a bitch like that type of right. stuff is the language they're being given not right. all of the time but like as a facet of like no it's the a, culture that's a real we live thing. in yeah. like it sucks like that sucks for them it sucks for uh the people they affect a whole lot right. more but like it's definitely like another aspect of the way that the patriarchy is fucking up everything yeah. right yeah. yeah absolutely no. it, it's it has to do with like toxic masculinity yeah. and like these basically archaic rules of how men should behave in society that all men for some reason seem to follow and even the women in in these men's lives are like yeah you don't cry don't you know hug your friends don't hold hands don't show emotion you know that's very feminine and so i mean they can cry just not in a movie because that's bitchy yeah Yeah. Or like don't non, be a little bitch. Not, not in front yeah. of you either. I feel <laughs> oh, like yeah. unless somebody dies. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. like a funeral is death. like is a fu- fine. Death, death is like one thing, but like death, like if you're injured, but like you know, if you're up in here, you like, lost a case or something. Yeah, crying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> something crying really at Black <laughs> like, no. I think because they're not able to let their emotions out like that, it just builds up. You know, like mm-hmm. any any sort of transgression against them if they just hold it in and it has to come out in like an aggressive way you right. know whereas yeah. like if someone's mean to me i'll i'll cry right yeah. whereas a man really is like oh i can't do that so i have to get a ak-47 <laughs> right you know right. natural solution yeah. crying <laughs> so much easier i know and it feels so fucking good it yeah. does i love it crying. i cry I for cry. no reason sometimes me too it's i had a good so cry good. today <laughs> Wait, do you, okay <laughs> there do you, do you cry in public yeah i cried at work oh. all the time this is, <laughs> new, york, this is new york city 
I, oh my I've, gosh, yeah. I've cried on the street. I've cried on the train. Subway. I've cried on like some someone's stoop. Like it's yeah. all the time. Totally. Yeah. It's random. <laughs> yeah. It's random crying. It's so good. good though. Yeah. yeah. And you like I, once I was crying. <laughs> this one time I was crying um, <laughs> on a corner in Los Angeles, and uh, this woman was had her son pull over the car to see if I was okay, which was so nice. And then she pulled into the parking lot got out and sat on like this stoop with me and was like, you know, I lost my husband recently and like was telling me like her whole saga. And it was, I was like crying for something stupid. And it was right. like, and she was like really connecting yeah. with me. And I was like, this was one of the nicest things a stranger has ever done for me. And I'm so glad we connected all because we're both very sad right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, but I'm sad because they, they canceled, canceled. <laughs> yeah. because they canceled House of Cards. And you're, yeah. you, have, right you have real reasons. <laughs> Like, it was so nice. And then she's like, Why are you crying? You're like, actually. Um, oh, yeah, same thing. Uh, my husband died <laughs> yeah. too. And, yeah, you know. Oh my, God. <laughs> my fiance. <laughs> Yikes. Um. So, Sam, how do you feel that uh, gender plays a role in the classroom? Oh, that's so great. I think that, like, oh. it's wild because by. I mean, I, last year I was working with five year olds, and this year I'm working with twos and threes. And. By five, you definitely see that you already have to un like help kids unlearn things. By two and three, you already kind of do too, but it's mm -hmm. a lot easier and it's a lot more abstract with twos and threes. But like, I mean, like I even encountered the other day on the playground, like a group of girls sitting in a tunnel and telling boys that they couldn't play. Um, and it has a lot to do with like them learning to categorize and stuff at this age. But by five, it's more like, no, like it's much more playing into the stereotypes, right? So like, no, you can't play that. This is a girls only game. Like you're, mm -hmm. you're a girly if you play this, like you can't do that. And like really teaching like, hey, no, at school, everyone, if anyone can play something, everyone can play something. You have me freaking out because we have so much in common right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I used to, I was a, a four and five year old preschool teacher yes, as yes. well. Mm -hmm. And so it, like I came up with this theory that I feel like everybody is innately bisexual. You're like, that's oh, how yeah. you are totally. like, when you come out of the womb. Yeah. And you're taught that, like, no, you're a boy. You're supposed to play with this. You're supposed to do this. You totally are you're taught that. You're a girl. That. You're supposed to. But I feel like, especially, like, looking at these four- and five-year-olds, they're just, like, completely, they're learning that. But, like, somebody's teach, they're, they're being taught that. They're being taught that, totally. As and opposed to, like, if everything was just an equal playing field, yes, you can play with the doll. Yes, you can play with this G.I. Joe. Like... And just, and like reacting to it the same way you would react no matter the gender of a child. Like, if someone picks up a doll and is like nurturing the doll, you're like, wow, that's so nice. You seem to really care about your baby. Like, that's so sweet, regardless of if it's a, a boy, boy or, or a girl. girl. Um, because, like, that's how it should be treated. Like, and yeah. if someone's like holding the baby upside down and waving it by their foot, being like, hey, would you hold, would you want someone to hold you like that? Like, regardless of if it's a boy or girl, as opposed to approaching it being like, you need to hold it like your mom, or like, you're like, hey, you're like throwing it around like a ball because you're a boy. Like, no, just right. approach it like, right. how would you hold a baby? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, not trying to, and by like five, you really do have to give them concrete things like, there's no such thing as a boy color or a girl color. That's made up. Right. Or we right. would yes. play this game where we would put, I would put all the toys in the middle of the rug and mm -hmm. we would separate them into boy toys, girl toys, and both. And then we'd talk about it once we separated it. And then I'd be like, you know, I'd pick up like a girl toy and I'd be like, that's weird. I saw like Max playing with this the other day. So if Max plays with it, what do you think it should go in both? And everyone would be like, oh, well, yeah, I mean, if Max plays with it, it goes in both. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and then, spoiler, by the end, everything is, is in both. both. <laughs> And involved. they're like, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, way to hit us uh, over the head yeah. with it. <laughs> oh. They're like, oh, oh. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get off. it. <laughs> but it's like cool to see that like happen for them. Um, but, oh, yes, please. Yes, great. Thank Sam's you. Sam's being offered a beer. Oh, no yes. one can see that. Yes. Oh, thank you so oh, much. No, we can. We're all camera. Oh, what? Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, Wait. Hi. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys been on camera this oh, whole time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What? Thank and you. A, a camera yeah. there and a camera there. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. So I, this yeah. whole time I was picking my nose. You just didn't want to <laughs> say anything. I thought yeah. it was gonna make for good shots. You know. <laughs> I was waiting for you to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You ever catch people on the subway doing? Oh yes. That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're eating like potato chips. And I'm like, right. what? Oh uh, yeah. People. Nasty. You're listening when you come visit New York City. Do not eat on the subway. It is disgusting. That's if there's anything I. Can like give you advice on it's that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, now, uh, do it. Are are you dating right now? Or are you? Yeah, I have a boyfriend. Okay, actually. you have a boyfriend. Oh. He's my first boyfriend. Let, yeah. let me just tell you, I'm okay. 30 years old, and he's my first boyfriend. Wow. Oh wow! Okay, you look amazing. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> now, how long have you been together? Two years. Two years. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So now that's a um, great first relationship. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. really it's nice. It's been hard yes. on me. I've well, just been looking for so long. Well, kidding. yeah. Well, at least like you, you Dude. finally found yeah, somebody. Yeah, finally. Like, you know. Yeah, at a bar. Oh, while oh. drunk. Randomly. While drunk. Oh. While drunk. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Exchange <laughs> numbers, <laughs> and then he actually looked better in real life. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like, well, when I sobered up, you were you were okay looking. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. So now, like, do you find it difficult to, like, date him, like, since you're a comic? Or um, has it been the same? Like, have you been dating the whole time you were in comedy? Or are you? Yeah, I mean, I was I was a comic before I met him. Okay. And um, I think just recently I started using him in my in my stand up. And because, OK, so it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not really hard dating him because I'm a comic, um, but he is white. OK. So we're in this. Um, uh, in a racial relationship, and I just find it hilarious, you know. Um, and so I just like make fun of it all the time. I make you know fun of him, and I'm like, he does so many white things, and like it's so cute, and yeah. And I make a lot of like colonialism jokes because right, know, you have to. <laughs> 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 Why not? <laughs> um, but it's 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 been very interesting, just you know being. Because when you're a female comic, I feel like a lot of people expect you to talk about your love life and mm -hmm. your dating. And I'm like, that is the least interesting part about me. I mm -hmm. just, you don't want to hear the stories, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But, um, yeah, it's it's just, it's been, it's been great. He's he's very supportive. And that's important. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's great. He's just like, wait, how honest are you going to be? And I'm like, oh, all the way. That's it's yeah. comedy. Yeah, it's comedy. Yeah. It's all it's about go, truth go and there. authenticity and, you know. Yeah. yeah so. There are no lines between no. us <laughs> that I can't cross, <laughs> according to me. Yeah. He's, on the other hand, I'm sure he'll... He'll disagree. Like, Listen, you can't talk about this and this and this. And I'm like, uh-huh, okay. I'm going to talk about all of it. Right. <laughs> like you. Take it <laughs> Yeah. How about you, Sam? Um, yeah, I date. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Do that. Bit beer all like, I've seen are you on the, are you on the internet on the sites? Yeah, I'm on the sites. Uh, I've been seeing someone for a couple weeks. Oh, nice. It's pretty. It's pretty. Young, pretty new. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, um, did you say you're also a matchmaker? I am. <gasps> oh, <cool. laughs> so I'm on the sites half for myself and half for my clients. But it's a it's fun. Yeah, it's a where good time. were you like three years ago? I just I well you didn't need my help. Girl. I got out <laughs> of here. So I, I need your help and I'm here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Talk to me. Okay. Talk to me. But like it, like we'll talk off air because I'm I I, I might okay. need your assistance. Amazing. <laughs> right. yeah. I would love it. Yeah. yeah. No. Totally. If you Absolutely. need my assistance and like what not to do, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I like girl, I made got so many what mistakes. Not to do Where she figure that out. <laughs> 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 I mean, I are like just to like go into like the what not to do. So I think that my ex is now a neo Nazi. <gasps> oh he, my god! Like I saw <laughs> him, I saw him like uh, in a picture, and he's like looks like an extra from a Clockwork Orange, no. <laughs> and he had like yeah. a Hitler mustache <gasps> in Berlin. What? Like, yes. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> That's not funny. Yeah. Like for him to do. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I've had ex boyfriends turn gay before. I've had ex boyfriends but this turn. Is the same Ex boyfriend before. we thought was gonna turn gay though. Well, he might also he be might gay. Be. Still, yeah. Oh, there, it's actually I was reading an article. There's a like a big. He's trying, he's trying so luck. hard to cover it up. He's like, no, I'm not gay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it. I hate them. I hate everyone. Like, 
everyone. He doesn't want to be labeled as gay. He's like, I'll be a Nazi. I'd, yeah. rather, yeah. I'd rather be a Nazi. It's but fine. actually, I was oh reading God. an article, and there's actually a big uh, subsection of neo-Nazis that are also gay. Yeah. It's and that, like, like, well, I it's, mean, it's what's his fetish. name? Uh, yeah. uh, Milo, whatever, yeah, Yiannopoulos. Yeah, whatever. yeah. But Fuck I mean, face. like, like Fuck even, like, in, like, <laughs> the 80s, like, they had, like, neo-Nazis in, uh, like, in England. Mm-hmm. They, they would also be gay, and they had, like, they would fetishize being a neo-Nazi in, like, some gay culture. So like okay. you know like kind of like instead of going to like a, a like a leather party they'd go to like a Nazi party but they would all be like gay guys and they'd just dress up as like SS soldiers. Okay. Oh, yeah. I Interesting. Fu- so I did not know other. that. Yeah. So like right. there's there is like a gay subculture within neo Nazism, huh. which is so fucking weird. It's so weird. Well, it's like black Republicans. I'm like, what are you? Yeah. What are you doing? Ah, oh, Stacey Dash. <laughs> <laughs> Or black gay Republicans, which is even more. That's even more. That's like, you're you're pretending. You're not real. You're not a real person. It's like your parents (laughs) did something horrible to you. Like, that's (laughs) what happened. There's a lot of self loathing that has to go on there. Right? Yeah. It's like, you would like want to give them a hug, except that they might get it on you. Yeah. Like, (laughs) 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 is it contagious? I don't know. It's like I can't get the black Republicans. <laughs> I don't have shots for this. <laughs> for real. Oh, sorry, I haven't been vaccinated yet. So yeah. Oh, wow, um, that's terrible. So now, like, what got you into the matchmaking business? Well, I had a friend who was doing it, and uh, my school year was coming to a close last year, and she had just like posted on Facebook and was like, "Oh, is anyone interested?" And it's a remote gig, and I was like, "That sounds so fun! Like, I'm not doing anything this summer, like." It'd be some a fun way to like make some extra money, and uh, it has been. It's been super fun. I really like it. Uh, you get to meet a lot of people. I also plan the dates, so like, oh cool. Oh. I like it's so fun to plan like these dates or to, like look up. I'm like a Yelp like freak or like I Are love you? reading. I like like reading Yelp reviews and like seeing like what's hot and hip, even <laughs> if I can't go to it myself. Like <laughs> so, like that's really fun and like getting to yeah, like send people out on these fun little dates. Is like really good. So oh, now, what do you think is the most important thing for people to put on their dating profile? I think for dating, that's a really good question. Dating profiles are so interesting because I think like you're going to attract what you put out there, right? So like if you have like um, goofy pics or like sexy pics, like that's going to deem who you get back. Um, I'm like a big fan of like short and sweet, and I also am not a big fan of like talking a lot once you connect with someone like if you exchange a couple texts and you're like vibing um even a little bit then like just go and see them because you're gonna it's like doing comedy right like yep. it's like you can practice a shit ton but like if you get up and do it on a stage it's gonna be like practicing that 10 times yeah. like right it's so much quicker and like you get so much more from just meeting a person mm-hmm. And, like, also every second you spend talking to someone on the phone, you're building up this expectation in your head about what they're going to be like. Mm -hmm. And, like, that just doesn't – I don't think that that's an efficient way to date. I agree. I agree so much. I hate when, like, I chat with guys for, like, a month, and it's like I spent all this time chatting with you, then we meet, and then we have, like, nothing in common. Yeah. There's, like, no conversation. Is it it because you run out of it in, like, the preliminary stages? Probably because we're fucking. (laughs) 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 That's my first mistake. Uh, 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 Yeah, don't do that. Right, we fuck, fuck and then we find out we have nothing in common. (laughs) Like, we're all good. Awkward. (laughs) Awkward. Yeah, yeah. I've I've got a three-date rule for that. (laughs) That's so good and so healthy. Ugh, I wish I could do. I I got a five-minute I have no self-control. You got a five what? Five minute rule. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. (laughs) I thought you said a five meal rule. I was like, what? (laughs) 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 Make him take you out to five meals. like an eight hour restaurant. I know. Yeah. Yeah. That's like you guys Stay. are dating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a marriage what? in some countries, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, because I feel like I don't know. Like and I'm very bad at like meeting people right away because serial killers. Um <laughs> I but, dude, I, that's that's so real. I started telling people on apps that I'm a serial killer. <laughs> if they like text me and are like come to my place and I'm like no thanks I like meet someone in public if they're like no haha I'm not a murderer I'm like thanks for your address I'm a murderer like <laughs> you, you crazy person on the internet like yeah. why are you inviting 
inviting strangers to your home. That's wild. But like, I feel like if somebody invites you out too quickly, I feel like they're a serial killer. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, Mm -hmm. if we just exchange like three messages and you're like, oh, let's go get drinks. It's like, whoa, buddy, you're not Mm. killing me today, Holmes. Like, (laughs) you know? (laughs) I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised I'm not dead. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've mean, yeah. definitely yeah. gone home with guys me like too. an hour after our date. I was like, gonna say I feel like that's like more of like a female thing because like I meet guys all the time yeah, on like a good. three message like, <laughs> hey, what's up? Where you at? Send your location. Great, on the way. Yeah, you're but there. I also feel like you're not worried about like like a miss size match. Like you know what I mean? It's like. For me, it's like if I'm right. going out with some like strange dude that's like six three and like two hundred pounds, exactly. like, like you know, yeah. and he's crazy. Like I am completely mixed matched. Yeah, where it's like six it's three, I'm mixed matched too. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> We really don't be fighting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's yeah. true. Because it's yeah. like if two guys, it's like oh, if he gets crazy, I guess we're just gonna fight. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I don't know. If he gets crazy, I'm losing teeth. Like you know what right, I mean. Yeah. And I like my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, so that's but. interesting it's about like you're attracting what you put out there. Yeah. Like my my profile is like it's things that I like. So it's like comedy, funk, happy hours, cheese. <laughs> like that's Love literally what every my fucking thing you just <laughs> said. Yeah. Like I'm like me. These are things that I do with my free time. <laughs> uh, I also feel like what you're putting out there, like with that, where I'm like, this is like to the point. Like I, I'm like not here to like, I, like I can barely text like people I really love back, like right. let alone strangers I meet on the internet. So. I'm like, this is about the attention I'm going to give this messaging. Uh, so hit me up if you want to do that. <laughs> uh, but I, I could probably add like Real Housewives to it at this point. Yeah. I've yeah. recently gotten really in. Which one are you into? I'm like watching Beverly Hills right now. I've okay. only watched Beverly Hills and New York and I watch oh. Vanderpump Rules. You don't watch wow. Atlanta? No, I Atlanta's my Al- next Atlanta one. Atlanta Atlanta's and Beverly one. Hills, those are the only ones. Oh, Atlanta is no, Atlanta's no. so you haven't watched no. any of it? No, no, so that's my next better. one. That's my next it's one. It's so my next deep franchise. right now, like I love it. I'm going to start from the I beginning. You got to start from the beginning. All of them on well, Instagram, yeah, too. Do the you? Ho- they're the only housewives that I follow on Instagram. Yeah. Or Who's your like, favorite? <gasps> oh, Candy. Love me some Candy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, uh, now I'm going to use sorry, that. No sorry. spoilers, no sorry. spoilers. <laughs> sorry. Really I like good. how we're presenting this as a series. Oh. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, no spoilers. Yeah, <laughs> don't tell her which housewife gets murdered. Right? Stop. At least two Or which one has roaches. Oh, my God. Get out of here. Don't even. No. It's, it's more like which one got foreclosed on this time. Like, oh, it's, no. Just, oh, it's just that's I'm a sad thing. I'm glad Sheree's house like, came Me up. Me too. Like, <laughs> well, it's just like, it's sad because these women are like living beyond their means. And it's yeah. like, be like me. Just like. You know, like like Calm seamless a is a luxury. Bit. You know, yeah. don't, right. don't, don't go real. out there and be buying these McMansions that you can't and Rolls Royces and Stop. Bentleys and then you don't like need it. yeah, and then you get fired. Yeah, and then yeah. oh, the show. But I thought the anymore. whole point of a Real Housewife was that the husband was rich. But they're he not all so housewives. Yeah, that's so the whole thing. That's no that's real when it rich. started, yeah. that's what it was supposed to be. But yeah. now, but like the Real House of Atlanta, only like two of them are married. Yeah. No, aren't like Real Housewives of Atlanta? They're like the most self-sustained franchise i think like so it's, they're like oh, the yeah, one yeah, where yeah. the most of them are the well they're like the most their money. Uh, are they well, make, make yeah well, now 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 oh, they do oh, okay but before it was okay. like ooh. yeah this is a yes <laughs> Roller yeah. yeah in the beginning yeah. the first couple i was yeah. like oh my heart broke oh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so i feel like yeah and i feel like when you put things like that out there like someone's gonna hit you up with like some like i can tell yeah. usually within a couple messages if we're gonna if they're going to be cool or not. Like, if they say some... I mean, the amount of times I've gotten, what's your favorite cheese? <laughs> As, like, the opening line. I, like, I, I get that, okay. too. Because yeah. I have a cheese. You cheese in yours, too? So mine is, if if you don't like cheese, beer, or bacon, we're probably not going to get along. Yeah, that, see, that's a, that's a great profile, mm-hmm. yeah. And, and then, like, I get guys that are like, oh, well, I don't like beer. And then <laughs> it's like, but or, or it's like, what's your favorite cheese? Or I don't... I, I don't I'm I'm vegan and I'm I'm sober like okay why are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> right like, that was that was it, it was clearly right there in the profile that means yeah. don't hit me up then yeah. <laughs> I wasn't yeah. lying yeah. 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 that's who I am and it's then, also like why are we starting this out on like a negative foot <laughs> 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 
why would you waste both of our times? Like, <laughs> right. it's yeah. like this. Uh, 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 right. And then, like, I, I, like <laughs> whenever somebody says, like, they don't, I, like, oh, I don't like beer, I don't like cheese, or I don't eat bacon, I always just message back, nobody's perfect. And then, like, <laughs> yeah. it's such a good text back. It's like, it's like, so, oh. <laughs> like, and then, like, like, this one guy's like, oh, that was a low blow. And I'm just like, all what? right, this guy can't even handle like this. That was like that much of like like a yeah. rub. Like it was yeah. like, yeah. like, <laughs> like, like jab. It no, was it was like just a, a little. Low. Like, like, low like, low how is this a low blow? You have not seen how low I can get, bro. <laughs> 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 well, how is that even insulting? <laughs> <Right>? like, <laughs> yeah, it was just like yeah. okay, like you are way too sensitive to be dating me. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm interested to know like what, what like the worst I think. Um, response from a guy that you've ever gotten ever mm. so oh you <laughs> look at my Especially instagram <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i, I put oh, no. all <sighs> of my bad messages yeah. on my instagram oh my God. I love um that. It's so yeah that's amazing. I, I, should, I well i can't do that anymore because i'm not dating but oh, i think yeah. the worst one for me was like a guy just said anal question <gasps> mark and that was it oh no and then see, got was... mad when i didn't respond I was yeah, like, are you, no. what am I supposed well, to cause say? Because that's what I was going to say. Like, I don't understand like, what you're asking. Am I anal? Like, what do you, what no, is, yeah. yeah. Uh, in the what? gay world, like, everybody, like, people are, like, are on prep, which mm -hmm. is, like, the, the, right, the right. pill that you take that keeps you from getting HIV. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. because of that, everybody thinks that they could just, like, fuck raw. <laughs> yeah. And no. so, like, I have this thing. No. 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 So, like, no, I will be not. having these conversations with these guys, and they would give me their complete address, and then I'll be like, raw question mark and then they'll be like hell yeah <laughs> block <laughs> completely block trash the block the you failed the test you just failed the test <laughs> exactly I, the that was a complete <laughs> test and you failed the amount of times i've gone to sleep with someone and they're like I don't have a condom and I'm like, oh, that sucks. Like, I don't, I, I'm on, not on birth control. Hold lie, on. lie, lie, <laughs> lie. Yeah. I'm not on birth control. I can't fuck you without a condom. And then they're like, oh, wait, just kidding. I have three. And I'm like, <laughs> that's what I thought, motherfucker. You think you're the first one to try that trick with yeah. me? You lie, bitches. Smart. I'm yeah. not an Smart. idiot. We live in New York City. There is a deli on every fucking corner. Yeah, exactly. Walk to the fucking Hello. bodega. 24 yeah. hour deli. Yeah, Hello. exactly. They don't even need to. They always fucking have one. Yeah. They're just lying, yeah, trying to be do. like, I don't have one, please. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. nope. I, I was like, you think you're going to pull that bluff? Nah. <laughs> so I'm. can I just quickly tell you guys yeah. a message that I got? It's on my Instagram. I actually turned it into a bit. but um, So here's the message. Hello, gorgeous. How are you doing? Took a look at your page. Enjoyed what I saw. Lovely pics. Like it. Now, <laughs> I'm, I'm not loving this. <laughs> I'm not one to beat around the bush. <laughs> I'd rather lick around yours. <gasps> Oh, wow. I'm into you, and I'm open, clean. He cringed. He cringed. <laughs> I'm into you, and I'm an open, clean freak, and I love to give oral sex. I really enjoy doing it. And then, of course, some back shots and all oh, sex man. acts. I'm just looking to have fun and be friends and just letting it be known what I want to do if you're into it, so let me know what you think. I feel like this is someone who's probably never had sex or ever talk, seen a woman before. <laughs> 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 and they have like their 19 year old roommate just telling them what to write. Uh, no, oh yeah, say something about the bush. I don't say something think about he the speaks bush. English. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah, it's true. It's like, it, I don't know, the, sen the sentences are all like disjointed and it's just, I don't know. It, That's yeah, alarming. it was. Yeah. It was. <laughs> weird and because he, he started off aggressive and then he's like but i'd like to be friends and yeah, like, yeah it's, it's let me know what you think <laughs> let me know what you think <laughs> X, <laughs> X, <laughs> X -O -X -O. <laughs> so weird then i had like <laughs> like one guy i like wrote back oh like like what do you do for work slash fun he says for fun i eat pussy oh lol God. construction <laughs> Mm, I'm just pussy like, eating construction worker. Oh, yeah, I mean, who among us has definitely? It? <laughs> if anybody wants to see these horrible messages, they're all on my Instagram. Um, I'm gonna, fo I'm gonna follow yeah, you now. At fashionably funny NYC. You need to do that, Sam. Yeah, you yeah, need yeah. to like we'll post. All follow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I, I will send mine back. Oh, this is one yeah. of my it's favorite crazy. ones. Yeah. Um, before I hit on you with something generic and borderline sexist, do you have a problem with small genitalia? Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
<laughs> no, no comment. How no. small are we talking? Small enough Can to mention. You... Right. So <laughs> let's mention. I have a micro penis. <laughs> but I, I like the disclaimer. That's to me like before I get into the sexist shit. Yeah. Let me know. talk about my small dick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me make sure you're okay with small dicks before I offend you. <laughs> oh, Wait a on. minute. <laughs> Real quick. Uh. Wait. So how small is too small? If you like ever seen somebody's dick and then walked away from it like listen mm. i don't care how small or big your dick is don't offend me don't yeah, be sexist don't be sexist <laughs> <laughs> literally like women are, the bar is so under four. low it's like don't be be a decent this be is a decent person I, once, under four i'd walk away <laughs> under four? never mind never mind all right all right okay <laughs> Never mind. I mean, yeah, be <laughs> decent with an average size penis at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, four is kind of like. Yeah, I've definitely had a situation like where this. like it was like, it was like definitely this? like four? under four. That's it was not four feet. Oh, not no. four what? feet. Four feet. I don't know. What, what is this? What dick what are you looking at? Like, well, where does this go? Like this is heartburn. Like this is a <laughs> <pizza box. laughs> What? <laughs> I'm not good at measuring. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, no, I definitely had a you situation. Walked, you walked away from a. It was it was under four. Um, it, I believe it was soft like soft or hard. Hard. Wow. That's like this, um, right? That's pretty small. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was. It was like that's a tampon. That. It was. It was. It was one of these, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it was like one of these, and I was like, you know, something. <laughs> Something ju- I, I just I, I'm I'll in just a wedding. do this and I'll get out and and then it's like oh you know I have a really early meeting uh yeah <laughs> like he was a nice guy but it's like yeah. I'm not gonna add a number for this teeny weenie like oh yeah you know it's like no yeah. it's like Damn, I'm not was adding was the date like completely amazing beforehand too and all he of a was sudden, so nice so nice we had so a nice great. dinner you got a three inch dick he was attractive <laughs> like I I actually like I thought he was attractive. And I, I was into him, and then, like, that's why I went back to his place. Because, like, we had gone to coffee, we yeah. had done a brunch, and then this was our <gasps> dinner, nice. and then, like, it was the three, it was the three dates. Three dates, and it's so, just like, like, And right. then I'm like, all right, let's do this. And I'm like, I was into him, and, like, great conversations, he had a great career. And I, like, I go back to his place, we're fooling around, everything is good. And then his pants came off, and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> Uh, and then I got, I felt bad because I didn't want to just like literally just be like, oh, I'm just like walking out like, right. you know, yeah. so like I felt like I, you know, I should just help him in some degree and, th- and then go on my merry way. Like, <laughs> that is the saddest <laughs> story I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> My heart I feel bad for both of you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like both he's just, because he was so nice, but it's yeah. like, That's that was what like I a call very, a waste I mean, of like, time. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, yeah. in the gay world, though, like whenever like a, a little one like That's that pops out, now no, it means I'm topping you. Sorry. Ah, right. See, You're been the ass you over. Have, you have options. We're we had options. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, but I would think that you'd want a bottom for that because you won't feel it. Have you seen this ass? You got to be at least like. Maybe at least like six inches. Cheeks. Got a juicy bit. Got to be this tall ride. Like literally. I have pretended for a couple of guys. They're like, oh yeah, you're in there. I mean, like, oh yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's I feel fine. it. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, I feel it. It's fine. It's like I'm oh. happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Yes, I'm coming. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, of course. They're always the ones too, the poppies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had sex with a guy who was like really, really small dick, but he was so nice, and I just like you know, I, yeah, I, they're so they sweet. Have to be. Yeah. They got to yeah. be because they know they got a small dick. They yeah. can't be an asshole. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. But he was just like every time we. Ha- it wasn't so much that he was his dick was small, but it was just like. He kept asking, Are you, did you come yet? Did you come yet? And I'm like, how? How, oh, how do you, <laughs> how do you like, see how? I mean, it's like he's going to know that answer. <laughs> Please stop asking. It's, it's like, me now. I, 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 <laughs> but I wouldn't lie. I mean. <laughs> <It's> I like, wish <laughs> Sam's matchmaking ass was there. Yeah. Like right there. Like just. Just get out. Just get out of it. Like, girl, no, 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 no. You're yeah. not supposed to ask that girl, question. It's like, why are you up in here with this teeny weenie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now, um, Sam, you had said that uh, at one time you were uh, 
uh, overweight. Yeah, yeah, totally. I used to be like twice the size I am now. Okay, I would say oh, until like you're about beautiful. A, oh, thank you. Just, <laughs> um, yeah, like about up until like I guess like two years ago. Okay. Yeah. Like diet and exercise, or did you get? Yeah, um, yeah. Just like took the time I needed to like do what I got to do. Yeah. Nice. Went home, got some. Yeah. Where's Where's home? home? New Jersey. I was oh, living okay. in. I was living in New Orleans. Oh. Then like finally just like went home. Like did what I had to do. Nice. And Self care. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. Love it. Mm-hmm. Um, Ooh, New Orleans food. Yeah. New Orleans food, New Orleans drinking, college Orleans. fucked me up. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I was fat before that, but like I got. I would have fat. high cholesterol if I lived in the South. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. that's real. Yeah. Dead, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I was overweight in high school, and then I lost weight in college. Because like then I just I kind of just stopped eating, and so um, totally. but like I was like a size sixteen when I was sixteen. Yeah, so, yeah, totally. You know, and um, but like, how do you feel that like? being like overweight like um affects like people desiring you yeah i think it like really it's so interesting i think about it a lot and i think it's like a really complex place to be because now i'm like like a pretty small person uh i'm five two and like normal size um but like when you grow up your whole life thinking that no one wants you and having that validated like over and over and over again. And then you like get to a place and like, I'm like, I'm a little cutie. Like I get it. (laughs) Uh, And like, not like just pat my back, but being like, okay, like my like leagues have changed. Right. uh, For lack of a better word. And like, I, I don't ascribe to those leagues, but I know that like society does. Right. Mm. And so it's really, I think uh, the way I always describe it is like, For so much of my life, people were, like, like, I didn't notice it, but, like, weren't that nice to me. Like, a baseline, like, not mean. No one was ever mean to me. I was so lucky. I was, like, I had lots of friends growing up and, like, always, like, had lots of social groups and, like, was cool. Like, because I'm funny, right? Right, I, like, had to be funny. (laughs) So, like, um, I, like, never was bullied or anything. No one was mean to me. But no one was nice to me. And uh, so when people were nice to me, I was like, oh, do they like me? Like, are they flirting with me? Like, is this what this means? So anytime people were nice to me, I was like, oh, do they like me? Is that what this is? Like, what does this mean? Like, I still have that problem. Totally. And now that I'm my size, everyone is nice to me. And I'm like, you know, like a cute, like I'm like a bubbly, like, like young lady and like well like p- the amount of times people fucking stop and talk i cannot go to a grocery store without people trying to chat me up like people are always asking me what i'm buying like people are so nice to me now people talk to me on the subway people talk to me in the street like strangers are talking to me all the time and like when i enter new social scenes like everyone is super like over the top nice to me like it's so different so now i'm mm. like well then how do i know when people like me i before i was like how do I know when people like me? And now I'm still like, I don't know. It's like, (laughs) it's like nothing. (laughs) Like it still is so hard. Um, And like, I definitely, I like have a joke about like how, like the first time I learned I was being used because like, it like happened, it started happening to me when I got smaller and I was like telling friends over and over again about the same thing that was happening with these people that I was seeing and sleeping with. And like, as I was iterating it, I was like, (gasps) I'm being used. I thought this was a fable. Like, <laughs> I was like, what is this? <laughs> it's so terrible. I, like, I didn't get what you all were saying before, but this does feel like you're an object. <laughs> like, <laughs> I get it now, and I don't like it. <laughs> I am not the boss in your shelf. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it's it's really weird, and it's hard. And, like, and then you, like, I feel like I always want to reach out to, like, big women to talk about that stuff but like i don't because like usually straight size women like haven't lived that life very Mm -hmm. few women my age lived a plus size existence for the most of their life and then like as someone who lived so much of her life as a fat person 
Like the last thing I want to hear is some skinny bitch talking to me about how hard weight stuff is. Like I'm like, oh shut it's the like, fuck oh, up. Oh, it's so hard to be thin. Like totally. you know. <laughs> totally. <Yeah. laughs> like, was, I was in a class in college once where this bitch was like, she's not a bitch. This young lady was like, fuck that bitch. I know. <laughs> she was skinny like, ass bitch. She's like, like <laughs> sometimes it's hard being like pretty because when you go places you don't know if people like you or if they're oh, just being nice to you because you're pretty. And I literally was like that's so fucking stupid. Like, <laughs> and I was like, you're so lucky people fucking talk to you yeah. when you enter a room. No one fucking acknowledges me. So shut up. Right. And my professor was like, all right, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> we all hear you, but that was a lot. <laughs> I hope they had the NPR oh, voice. Awesome. Like, like, yeah, I wish I was okay, in that class. Sam. It's all right. It's like, all right. Like, it's all right. in the back too, like, Shut the fuck <laughs> 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 No, it's it's funny because like it, it's really mm-hmm. hard and I'd say like I'm probably like I definitely blossomed older because like I was like overweight and like totally. you know like I like always had like a cute face or whatever, but I wasn't popular in school. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I was with like the artsy kids and yeah, I was, yeah. you know, like sculpting and painting and shit and like I wasn't like wasn't a cheerleader and I didn't have a boyfriend or this and the other thing. Totally. And then like I started losing weight in college and then like before I know it, it's like, oh, like did I just hook up with the captain of the baseball team? And oh uh, did I just hook up with this dude that's an actual underwear model? And then yes. it's just like that's oh, when it starts hitting totally. you. Like, yeah. and then you're like, <laughs> oh my oh, gosh, yeah. Like my prom date was a birthday present, and now I'm hooking up with underwear models. Totally. Like, yeah. you know, and I'm not even fucking around. Like my prom date was an actual birthday present. Like oh. I could <laughs> not get a prom date, and so like my friend like talked somebody into going to the prom with me for my birthday, like as a birthday present. So like then when you're like. Oh my God, like, you know, I'm dating actual like boxers and like ballroom dancers. Totally. And I'm just like, I don't know what's happening right now, but God, I love abs. Like, yeah. <laughs> right? totally. yeah. I was like home for the holidays and like got duped into going to some place that like everyone from my high school was going to, oh, which God. is like not my thing. But no. then we were there and I kept leaving the group to go dance by myself because I was like, this is a dancing place. Like, why are y'all talking? I don't even care about what you're doing. <laughs> and uh, like the coolest, hottest guy in high school kept like coming over to Ooh. where I was. Uh-huh. And then I then they would all just start talking again. So yeah. I would leave and go find another spot <laughs> to dance. And my friends like they were like, why are you doing this? Like, he's trying to date you like or he's trying to hook up with you. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> Like, that's so like, funny yeah, to me. Right. That's yeah. so funny. Like, I couldn't get over it. Like, that same type of thing. Like, the hottest guy I graduated with. Like, well, like that was I, so dumb. Because you don't even realize, like, because I was also chubby when I was, yeah. like, in high school. But I was, like, I was popular. I went to, like, a theater totally, arts high yeah. school. So I was, like, homecoming king. And so, like, yeah. when I went to, like, my reunion and I had lost, like, 25, 30 pounds, it was, it was, everybody's like, oh my God, is that you? Like, that's Rodney? Like, just, you yeah. didn't even realize, like, how you looked totally. to other people until, like, you changed. Yeah. And then people were like, oh, wow. But yeah. I also think it's part of you, like, den- is denying and is in denial totally. of the fact mm-hmm. that, like, someone is interested yeah. in you in totally. that way. Cause, like, right. absolutely. I remember in college, like, being a freshman and I had the biggest crush on uh, this guy that was uh, on the soccer team. And he was a junior when I was a freshman. He's like super hot. He was an Italian da- guy <gasps> from Ireland, Ooh. so he was Italian with an Irish accent. Ooh. But like, so like all the Italian features: mm. dark hair, bright, big brown eyes, like dark skin, but like had like the brogue. And I was just like, this guy is so fucking hot. And so oh I would get to class early every class, so that no. I would get to class late every class so I could sit across from him in class. Nice. And so, like, so I could just, like, look up at him and, like, watch him and stuff. And then, like, it wasn't until he was about to graduate that, like, I went to, like, a, a, like a party for that class that he's like, you know, when you first got here, I came to class early every class to save you a seat and you always went across the room from me and you never sat down next to me. And I was just like, oh. dude, I totally get that. You yeah. know? And, and it was just like, how does this, like, I didn't yeah. know. That's so real. I think, like, I have a really hard time, like, uh, making the first move. And at the same time, I feel like I have a big personality and come across pretty confident. And so 
I've been told by like men that I'm hard to approach. Like they're like, mm. you're intimidating. You don't seem like you would go out with anyone just because they ask you out. And I'm like, oh God, how do I make myself seem more insecure? <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> uh, Does but my like, makeup look good? Like, yeah. <laughs> Like, but at the same time, like, I just moved to New York from L.A. And, like, when I was leaving L.A., I, like, went on, like, a, whoa, well, who cares if you say no? Like, I'm leaving. I'll never see you again. And, like, literally everyone said yes. <laughs> and I was uh, like, this is so crazy. God. Maybe if I knew this, I would have stayed. <laughs> I, I moved here from L.A. Oh, too. no way. Where yeah, are you yeah, living? Yeah. Uh, in the Valley. In nice. Tino. Yeah. I was in K-Town. Cool. Oh, I used to live in K-Town, too. K-Town Cutie, yes. Yeah. So, um, I hate to do this, you guys, but we're going to have to wrap it up. Oh, yeah. Um, but before we go, um, just where can everyone follow you on social media? Like, what shows do you have uh, coming up next? I'm going to start yeah. with you, Dua. Um, well, my Twitter, which I very rarely use, <laughs> is uh, at Dua Diddy. So D-U-A-A-D-I-D-D-Y. Um, but also uh, my sketch team has a show on the 19th at Magnet Theater. So nice. everyone should check it out because we're really funny people. What's the name of your team? Um, so that's funny. Very funny question. Um, so we're a new team. So right now we're called Sriracha. Okay. But Ooh. which is going to be changed. It's spicy. Um, okay. we're, fi we're fighting. <laughs> we're fighting over it I now. Like it. <laughs> it's spicy. Yeah, we, I mean, we want to keep it, but we kind of were like, so let's be creative. <laughs> and it's just become this process. But also, you can catch me doing stand-up um, at The Stand, at The Laugh Factory, um, all over Brooklyn, um, Alligator Lounge, wherever. And, yeah. And my Instagram handle is also do a ditty. So Nice. Do a ditty. Yeah. Oh, nice. Check it out. How about you, Sam? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can follow me at SamCam. It's S-A-M-M -M underscore C-A-M-M. -M. Um, and I'm really excited. I'm actually about to start hosting an open mic for <gasps> LGBTQ plus comics. Awesome. Uh, the open mic's called Open Flame. It's going to be uh, Tuesday, March 6th, and hopefully subsequent Tuesdays. Where? 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 At the Mood Ring oh, in nice. Bushwick at 8 <gasps> Um, sign up. Everyone gets four minutes. Please sign up. It's going to be so fun. Like, I'm so excited about it. Yeah, so sign oh, up. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram yeah. and stuff to sign up. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Rodney Daniels. I will be there. I am You gonna... jumped out of your chair. You yeah, I did. Because I'm sign definitely up. coming to that yes. LGBTQ show. That's all I talk about is yeah. dicks. That's amazing. <laughs> 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 Too many things to find him a comic to hook up with. Go on. This is true. So, <laughs> He's never I'm hooked up with a comic. I'm going to offer some services at my show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey. come on, come get it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was single. <laughs> <laughs> you can catch me tonight hosting uh, Fashionably Funny at the Broadway Comedy Club, 10 p.m. with yeah. the beautiful and fabulous Marissa Smith. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, my Instagram is Rodney Daniels, uh, Facebook Rodney Daniels, you know, I'll let you know when all my new shows are coming out. Yeah. So, uh, you guys, uh, tonight I'm also going to be at Broadway Comedy Club fighting the storm for Fashionably Funny. Um, you can catch me on the 10th at Merriment and Mortification at Auto Shrunken Head. Follow this show on Twitter at Big Talk and Brew. Follow me on Twitter at Marissa Smith. You can also um, like our Facebook page, Big Talk and Brewskies, or Fashionably Funny Productions. And follow the show on Instagram, Fashionably Funny NYC. Um, take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend. Be careful driving. And remember, you guys, um, Hope Hicks is probably going to have a black eye this weekend. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>